live battle report where we see the Astra Militarum versus the Iron Hands. The, the custom Iron Hands. <laughs> custom Iron Hands. Well, they, well, they're not painted as Iron Hands, are they? Oh. They're our own homebrew army. Yeah. The VT Marines. The VT Marines <laughs> today will be the Iron Hands with their silver skulls and their VT symbols. I'm Stephen from Vanguard Tactics. This is Jake. All right. <laughs> and we are going to be bringing you what hopefully is a entertaining but educational combo battle report. He is the entertain. Oh no, I was about to say educational. I am the entertainment. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, we'll get it right. Um, <laughs> we've also got Eddie back in the house, who I do the competitive 40k podcast with. Say hello, Eddie. Hi, Steve. Glad to be back, mate. How are you doing? Very good. Cheers. Yeah. So, if you've got any questions whatsoever, head them over to Eddie. And remember, we are accepting your kind donations through the Super Chats. So if you'd like to stop us at any time and ask you a question, then use the Super Chat function uh, in your comment section below if you're watching this live. If you're watching this back, then we go live every single Tuesday at 7 p.m. Um, UK time. So at the moment, it's British summertime. Uh, but yeah, very excited for that. We've also got Robbie Cam. How are you doing, Robbie? Robbie's doing well. We've got the Robbie Fun. And then also we have Daisy Cam as well. Daisy, give us the Daisy, the, the biggest fun. fun ever. There they are. There it is, look, on the macro lens. We've got the most famous and biggest funs in 40k here. That's what we've got. <laughs> so, so we've got the four cameras for you today. Five, actually, if we include the dice cam. Um, and we're oh, very patient. excited about uh, bringing, obviously, you this battle report. So obviously, for our battle reports, we'll go over the lists, we'll go over the mission, and then we're going to have a great game of 40k. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I, I'm not. I'm excited to use this list. Yeah. Because this is a bit of a throwback list. It is a throwback list. Yeah. yeah. With a few tweaks. This is like an eighth edition throwback, isn't it? This is like Boogeyman and of eighth. Yeah. No one wanted to come out to play. No. <laughs> this is like the current Admech. Yeah. Oh. Or what was Drakari? Um. Anyway, so <laughs> the other thing is this game's really interesting because last week we said whoever super chatted in the most amount of money over the course of the stream would get to pick the game today yeah. and that was nick less who was one of our vanguard tactics academy students um and i messaged him and i said look what do you want us to play and he said iron hands i was like wow it's a bold choice and then i said what do you want me to run and he said guard and i couldn't believe it so all day today i have been like <laughs> racking my brains reading the codexes writing cheat sheets this is my first time using the guard. It's finally nice. Now you know how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> first time using the guard. Um, it's going to be an interesting game. I think I've got quite a cool list. I've got pretty much a, a Tempesta Cyan pure list. Breaking the meta. You've gone with a theme for your army being one unit. Yeah. I so happen to have also <laughs> taken that theme in pretty much one unit. Yeah. So. so anyway, it's going to be a good, interesting game today. Uh, the mission today, if we want to head over to the mission, Eddie, is Priority Target. A fan favourite. It's a fan favourite. A fan favourite. What's your favourite thing about this mission? The secondary. <laughs> you like the secondary, <laughs> yeah. Cool. See, my favourite thing about this is how you can move the objectives. Yes. It, is, it adds an extra level to the mission. I love it. Mission. It's a tactical element yeah. to really create you know, the best sort of structure for your game plan, which I really, really like. So, um, yeah. I really like this. Now, this is a hold one objective for five points, hold two objectives for ten, and if you hold more, you'll score an additional five points. Now, each of us can score up to 45 points on the primary, um, and they'll be scored in the command phases of the game, which is at the start of each player's turn. There are five turns in a game, and then each of us will also get to pick three secondary objectives, each of those worth up to 15 points, um, with a total of 100 points being allowed to be scored for this game, due to the fact both of us will be receiving 10 points because we both have a painted army. So, um, yeah, as it will stand, we'll both be kicking off with 10 points each and then we'll go over our secondaries in due course. But if we look at this rustic battlefield, very rusty. Very weathered. Very weathered, yeah. Um, we've got lots of our classic Vanguard Tactics terrain here um, and this has been fully weathered up. Um, and you can, if you like this terrain, you can simply purchase that from the foreground publishing website uh, the link is below um, and then just need some weathering powders and you can make it look absolutely awesome just like we have here a little bit of hairspray and L some sealant yeah we need plenty of hairspray <laughs> um, then we've also got these uh, so they're the ruins that you can see um, they're going to be obscuring 
Um, pretty much the long edges of a ruin are blocked off, the shorter edges are open, so you've got to work hard to get your firing lanes. Um, and then we've got these really cool um, containers in the center there. Now, they were actually designed by somebody on a certain camera. I, they, I didn't. Not you. <laughs> Daisy Cam. See? Daisy actually designed these containers. Not just a big thumb. Not just a big <laughs> thumb. Yeah, can put those big thumbs to good use and design and epic terrain. Some awesome terrain. Yep. And then wicked. we've also got these other elements on the edges here. Now, these are like sort of energy sort of um, ruins, but they're actually going to be dense terrain today. As they're, they've kind of, you can kind of see through them. It's going to be dense, so it's going to be difficult ground and dense terrain. Yours, right? is, yours has a lot more love than mine. Mine's a bit falling apart here, where it's been so weathered. You're so rusty. weathered, yeah. So weathered. Where's that one? Ain't pretty good, Nick. Yeah. And mine's not too weathered, too hard over here. So anyway, um, I'm sure if Eddie gives a, a few of those close-up shots, we can have a look at some of this awesome terrain that we're playing on, on this Mars theme table. Mm. With the map. Um, so what's the story today then? In Balamori. Yeah, what's Wouldn't the story? Wouldn't you like to know? What is the story? <laughs> what are we fighting over? Why would the Iron Hands be fighting the Tempesta Scions, Jake? Give us a narrative. Oh, God, on the spot. Oh, I'm sorry to offend it if I offend anyone. Basically, the narrative today is, as you can see, they're very weathered. Okay. And the Iron Hands are a bit sad about that. Right. Because they like things, you know, Iron Within. Okay. You know, I think that's probably the Iron Warriors quote. Probably completely messed that up. Wow. They like having things, you know, they don't like their machines being weathered. No, they don't. The Scions have gone, hang on a minute. What's going on here? We're, we do everything fine here. Yeah. Why are you, what, what are you doing? And we don't want it cleaned. And they just appear. Yeah. And they're like... Okay. Right, guys, come on. <laughs> right, I thought this could have been more like a training mission. But you know, because obviously these armies wouldn't naturally <laughs> fight each other. Fired nerf, but it's what are you trying to say about Jake? Does he need a bit of training? Yeah. Oh. Jake needs training, especially in his law knowledge. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, I thought mine was bad. Hey, the toilet seat one last week was quite good. Yeah, the toilet seat the, narrative that was, was great. That yeah. was very widely received. I Very think well. it was actually, yeah. Anyway, massive thank you to all of our sponsors. So we've got Foreground Publishing, who obviously make this incredible terrain. We've also got the Factorum, which is our studio right here. And then also you can see these incredible, very old school games here that if you ever come to the Factorum, the gaming centre, you can just rent one of these games out and play, which is pretty cool. Um, our studio or um, our other studio where we're using the winter is directly above here. And then also a massive thank you to Entoyment, who helps out with our models. JW Gaming, who helps help us out with the mats. And then also... Um, C Studios are currently commissioning our first ever army, uh, which will be absolutely awesome. So if you want to help us in any way and use the sponsors, that is absolutely brilliant. And if you would like to join our academy and take your game to that next level, but most importantly, improving your confidence, clarity and composure in the game of 40k and truly become a 40k commander, then check out the Vanguard Tactics Academy, of which Eddie is one of our students. So if you've got any questions about the Academy, throw them over to Eddie. You'll be happy to answer them in the chat. Yeah, and I'd also just like to say that we have an amazing community on Discord in the Vanguard Tactics Academy. Um, if anyone does join, you need to get on it because we have a great team of guys there, always playing games, always helping each other get better. So yeah, definitely come on over. Absolutely awesome. I would like to make a special shout out oh, yeah. to a chap who actually signed up today Yeah. called Jake, not me. Another Jake, yeah. you may be watching, if you are Jake, I hope Big you shout are. shout out. Um, basically messaged me a bit beforehand, talked about the academy, yep. loved the ethos of it, yep. and he's signed up, and he's getting ready to go. And what is our ethos, Jake? We want to play the game in the right way. Yeah. We don't want to, none of this jank. No jank. We want to play it as the game's intended, yep. with a smile on our faces, yep. with the most sportsmanship we can. Yeah, absolutely. No pity rolls. <laughs> no pity rolls, but we're going to be playing hard, aren't we? We are going to be playing hard. Yeah. Fast and furious. Fast and furious, but in the right way, which is what right 40k way. should all be about. 100%. At the end of the day, it is war. Anyway, should we get on with this? Um, <laughs> these armies, yeah? If we ever went to war, yeah. you definitely would. <laughs> personally, <laughs> just speaking personally. Okay, thanks. So, mate. Steve, I think your army's up first. Do you want to uh, give us a rundown? Ooh, I'd love to. Right.
description. You can click that and it will take you to both of the and lists. they're free. Okay? They are free. They are free. We don't put them behind a paywall, guys. No, we no. are not money grabbing. <laughs> <laughs> Contrary to uh, s s some sort of conspiracy theories, um, they are free, our lists. Anyway, so... Steve, we actually had a little bit of an audio issue there, unfortunately. Um, if you're able to just go back from over your list again, sorry, we, we lost audio for everyone there. Oh. And also, team, am I a little bit better now, if everyone can hear me? Can you hear me? I was a bit loud, so... Sorry, over you go again. Yeah, okay. Uh, have you got everything all checked out? On, let me come over and have a look, a look at the levels. Yeah, if it, we need to be loud, you can always pop us up there, okay? Yeah, all right, awesome. Um, okay. All right, to confirm, lists are also in the description. We're not money grabbing, they are free. Yeah, go for it. Check it out in the description. <laughs> so we've got two Tempresta prime, uh, Primes. One of us has got the Corvus Aquila, and then the other one, um, he's also got the old Grudges Warlord trait, so I can reroll wounds against a, uh, one of your units. The other one has a refractory field, which gives me a five plus invulnerable save, aura. And he's got a Warlord trait, which gives me reroll ones to hit. Oh, that's nice. Very nice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Um, then what we've got is also um, six units of Tempesta Scions with the hotshot las guns. How many are in each unit, Steve? Ten. So you have 60 Scions? 60 Scions, yeah. Madness. Then I've got uh, six Bulgarin with the Slab Shields and the Mallets, okay? And the Maces. Yep. And then they are those big guys with the big fists at the back of this uh, picture. Because this is, is all a Forge the World Army. Yep. It's all Forge World. Yeah, these are all Forge World models, pretty much, mm. yeah. Um, then we've got, I found it in the cabinets here at Factorum, which you can rent out, by the way, if you ever come. You, so you can rent out. You can use this army. You can. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so then we depends how well it does. <laughs> we've got the guy with the banner is also our priest, the minister and priest. So he gives me plus one attack. You, you never leave home without one. You always got to take a priest with you. I've got four servitors. Okay. Bold. Yep. And then I've got a thunderbolt flyer. A thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. A thunderbolt. <laughs> then I've got two Valkyries. Yeah. And oh, I've mate. given them some extra guns. And so then these I've got, aren't vultures. <laughs> these are Valkyries right here. Oh. Yeah. And then we've got two Torx Primes, which are the tank things you'll see, um, the grey tanks. There are Torxes, and they've got battle cannons. Battle cannons. It's basically an auto cannon in terms of its profile. But it's called a battle cannon. It's called a battle cannon. Because it's cooler. It's called a Torx battle cannon. And that's my list. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I've got... Oh, and then for elites, I've also got three units of um, Tempesta Command Squads with plasma guns. Yep, got it. And in my transports, I've got... Uh, two units in reserve, yeah. okay? Um, I've got a unit of 10 in each of my Toroxes, and then I've got a unit, I've got all my Plasma in this one, and then I've also got, uh, in my other Valkyrie, I've got a unit of 10, and my Captain. So, okay. in terms of Deep Strike, yep. it's not too much. Just a two. Just a two, actually. Yep, right. so what is in your list then, Jake? Well... Iron Stone. Yeah. This relic's very good. Basically, I can pick one of my vehicles and they so they reduce all damage taken by one. Very nice. Which is very good. Into the troops. Yep. We have a unit of five incursors. Yep. And four units of ten intercessors, all with auto bolt rifles. Wow. Gone for the, the... So you can assault... So I can run and shoot. Yep. They're three shots each. 24-inch range. All Pr the Dakar. Pretty good. Main reason I've taken the assault bolts and not the normal bolt rifles is because obviously in my ultra means I do like taking the bolt rifles. Yeah. But obviously from turns two and three I don't get to rapid fire while standing still. No. And this army needs to be moving. It does. So and also now with the the ranger meta from yeah. Admech that we're in, having those extra shots yeah. is real nice. Yeah. It's all strength four. Can get to minus one on tactical and tactical doctrine for two turns. Yeah. Thirty shots per unit. It's pretty solid. Yeah. Um. Then we've got in the elites. We have a Deradeo Dreadnought. Yeah, wow. He Not is, seen him in a while. <laughs> no. He has got, I don't know the name of it. We're going to call it his top hat. Yep. Basically, it's 3D free shots, strength 6, minus 1, 1 damage. Can you shoot indirectly? I will need to check that. So did not know about that. I did not know that either, if it could. It does also have two heavy bolters and two lots of Deradeo auto cannons. Then I've got a Primaris Ancient. Okay. He is a Chapter Ancient. Yep. 
and he is spent a, a one command point to give him a hero of the chapter of war or trait yep. for steadfast example. Oh no. Which is basically rights of war, but yep. better. So yep. everybody's obsec, and anyone who's already obsec is double obsec. So all your intercessors are basically counted as two models each. Yes. Nice. And that's 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 why I didn't go rights of war, because there's been no point. Yeah. Then I've got maybe a bit of an odd one for some people. Yeah. I've still taken a chief of off carry. You have, yeah. He is the main warlord of the army. Okay. And he is the selfish healer warlord trait. Okay. Mainly because they all get six up in uh, six up for no pain anyway. Yep. But it's more so because he can pick up models. Okay. Cool. And it's very very important. Yeah. And heal your intercessors. And he can heal my intercessors. And or characters. Or heal my characters. Yeah. Um, finally, to round out the army, I've got a repulsor executioner. You have. Again, <laughs> you know, but, boogie man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with the minus one damage, toughness eight. See what you can do. I, I'm really excited to use him, to be fair. Yeah, I, we haven't seen one in, on the table in a while, so it's going to be exciting to see what this thing can actually do now. So, yeah. yeah. And that is exactly 2,000 points. Love it. Of Iron Hands. Well, I've um, 1,990, so I get an extra 10 points, which I'm going to convert into command points. So I'm going to start with uh, 20 command points, okay? It's a bold move. <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> don't, know, don't know how legit. Any super chats? We do indeed have some super chats. So let's have a look. I think there was one from Ross at the beginning. There was. Oh, uh, we actually had one from, from Dave uh, right at the beginning. Um, apparently, Gabby is visiting her grandparents, but she asked me to tell you that she said, Go Stephen. So he wants to know when you, Steve, will play Space Wolves. I told her you don't have a Space Wolves army yet. Yeah, nearly though. Well. 50-50, aren't we? we? We have a Space Wolf army. Yeah. It's just not a painted Space Wolf army. It's half half done, I think. Mm. Yeah, so we're getting it done soon. So, Gabby, Space Wolf's coming soon. Just for you. Just for you. We have another super chat from uh, Moerka um, for 50 sec. I'm not sure what that is. Um, and that's Hi, Eddie. Um, hello. Good to be here. Nice. Um, we also have one from uh, Cameron Wageman for $19.99. Uh, VT. When can I see some Templars on stream? Also, can Eddie and Steve talk in their Dog Martyr voices? Oh, in the Dog Martyr voice? The Dog Martyr. Yes, the yes. Dog Martyr. Oh, yes. we, we, we me and Eddie were not quite sure how to pronounce the Dog Martyr, so we went full posh. It got a bit fancy, didn't it? I'm not very I'm, fancy. I'm not on the podcast. I just see, I just see the live streams, guys. <laughs> yeah. You'll have normal When can we get Black Templars on the stream? Well, again, we've got the army built. I shouldn't have painted it. Well, Equally as well. If, if you can't wait, we do have this army. Yeah. But they, we want to make it. But we want like, it themed. They need chainsaws and stuff, and they Pistols. need chains all around them. Yeah, screaming. <laughs> so soon, 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 soon. Yeah, we've got the Black Templar's helmet ready to go down there. <laughs> if, oh, if, it's if ready. Whoever plays it has to have it on, for on the whole game. full time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool. Love it. Yeah, <laughs> full crusade. Full crusade. <laughs> not not the narrative version, but as in like you know, crusade and Templars. Just burst through the table. <laughs> yeah. Any other super chats? I'm sure there was one from Ross at the very beginning, even very before we started. Let me Five. have a look. Bear with me. He should go right to the top of the chat. Big. I think he was saying something about Go Jake. We do really appreciate your super chats, That's by the it. way. It helps us invest more into models, camera equipment, and absolutely everything. It really helps us keep going and improving as well. Ross's one seemed to have got lost in the warp somehow. Um, okay. But we will read it out when we can if we find it. It but should be literally before anything. It's yeah. the first thing. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sure Eddie will find yeah. it. If not, thank you very best. much, everybody, for your super chats. We will do super chatting in the movement phase, just so it keeps everything else pretty slick. So, Eddie, are we ready to actually start rolling some dice? But first of all, we need to go over secondaries, right? We do. So, do you want to bring up the scoreboard? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone for that, Eddie. Right, yep. I hope so. Yes, awesome. Engage on all fronts. Yeah. I'm also going for, because I looked at your list and I was like, I can't out obsec you. No. Uh, so I'm going for engage on all fronts. <laughs> I'm also going to go for the mission, priority target. Shot okay. horror. <laughs> and I'm actually going to pick this one here, the oh. one uh, that is closest to my big plane. Yeah. Not this one. No. Um, and then, and, oh, oh, do I want to pick this one? No, I'm going to go for that one. And then I'm also going to go for um, Rod, retrieve Octarius data. The, the rod. <laughs> the rod, yeah. So basically, I've got to do an action in each of the courses of the table. Nice one. Yeah, what are you going to go for? Well, I have gone for yep. stranglehold. Okay. So I've got to hold three objectives and more than you. Yep. I've gone with oaths of moment, yep. which is a bit of a risky one we've said on the stream. Yep. But for this type of mission, I think it works quite well. Yeah. And then finally, 
have gone for the mission. It's just pretty simple. And obviously the one I'll be picking. That one there. In the corner, yeah. Very nice. How are you getting on there, Robbie? Do you need a different plate, mate? Robbie's just sorting his camera out. He wants you, to change. While, while Robbie's doing that, yep. do you mind if I just make a little shout out? Of course you can. So basically, I have been very kindly asked on the 13th of August to appear on a 24-hour live stream in aid for cancer research. It's called Team Warhammer 100. Um, obviously, if you want to check it out, all the hashtags all over Instagram. Uh, I will be there from 11.30pm till 12 o'clock midnight on the Friday. Um, obviously, it's an amazing cause for an amazing charity. So if you could check it out, it would be really appreciated. And just come and hang out with me and the others that will be taking part. It will all be over on my Instagram. And if you use the hashtag Team Warham 100, then you can find it all there. Great cause. It's a great cause, and I'm then extremely honoured to be asked to do yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. That's absolutely awesome, Jake. Top work, mate. Thank you, mate. Top work. All right. Are we ready we for this, then, Eddie? <laughs> we are indeed. We're ready for the roll-off to see who is going first. How many CPs are you starting with? Just the nine. I'm starting with ten. Mm. Here we go then. <laughs> I have. So I'm on the blue dice. Jake is on the black dice. We've, we're swapping up. Normally I'm on, I'm on the white dice, blue dice. Yeah. Never the black. Never the black. Let's see what happens. You can go first. You can roll first. It's a two. It's a two. I don't mind that. No, because you'll know I'll probably roll a one. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I don't mind going second. Just for eight. Five. I'm going first. <laughs> I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> so when do you use that ironstone thing? Is it a command phase? I do need to check because obviously originally it was at the start of my turn. Yeah. So I w let's just have a look, see. Jake's going to check his ironstone because this is going to be super important um, because I'm probably going to put Seal of Oath onto... Well, you, I mean, I... you mean old grudges? Old grudges, yeah. <laughs> Seal of Oath, the Ultramine version. Yeah. The better one. <laughs> it is better, yeah, because you get to reroll hits, not just wounds. Yeah. Um, At the start of each battle round, so I don't have to do it in the command phase. So it's now. Yeah. So, so obviously I, I'll be putting it but on. But before we... Awesome. It's going to go on the repulse, yeah. yeah. Um, do I... Yes, I'm probably going to say that against the repulse I'll be rerolling all wounds because I probably have to kill it. Yeah, probably it's, have to, don't It's I? toughness 8. I believe it has a turp save. I will quickly double check. Yeah. It doesn't have a 5 up invulnerable save, but does have a 6 plus 5 no pain. Yeah. It's pretty beefy. It's pretty tasty, yeah. Oh, well, it's going to be interesting. One, I am crying. It's going to be very <laughs> interesting to see what happens here. Yeah. Well, best um, of luck, mate. Yes, and you, mate. So, my first time using the guard, I am a little bit scared. I'm not going to lie. Here we go, then. On a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah. How scared? Oh, like <laughs> an 8. I've never had to use Iron Hands. I'm very fortunate I've used Marines quite a lot on the stream. Yeah. I think this is the first time me using a Marine that isn't Grey Knights or Ultramarines. So I'm quite happy. So I've got some cool strats. I've got about five. Five? Five strats. What, now? No, just in general to use. Okay. You mean you're channeling the VT ethos of spend all your command points turn one as well, see? No, absolutely not. But I'm going to just move <laughs> these um, servitors just over here. Yeah. And they are going to do a rod uh, in this corner. Tasty. Oh, yeah. Why is my list illegal? Oh, well. <laughs> it's not illegal if you can't give us a... <laughs> Let's be honest. If it is a little bit illegal, is it going to make a difference? Not really, no. It's just uh, it's slightly illegal. I yeah, the Thunderbolt's not supposed to be in the list. I tried to check all the wording. It's like, you may take this, you can't take, take that. that yeah. and it's a million keywords. We'll just If, if anyway. it is illegal and it's very slightly illegal, we'll just keep it. I don't yeah. mind. We're just having a good game here, aren't Let's we? Let's just have a fun throw down. This is for Nick Less. Yeah. So, we need they to think of a super chat thing to do for this stream. We could go back to, you know, if you donate the most, do something, do a matchup. Could do. But, but it's quite hard if we don't have the models. No. This is a bit of a... If the chat can think of something interesting, yeah. then we'll do that. All right, bear with me one second, chaps. I just need to change transition and it's going to mute the, the stream for a hot second. No worries. Oh, also, I'll double check that relic just to make sure. That... Yeah, you're yeah. So they can move. Torox Primes can move 14 inches. It's pretty yeah, decent. It's just for when I spend them. Right, so this, this movement phase could be pretty good. Cool, right. Just checking <laughs> a few stratagems. 
Okay, that one I don't use yet. Right, Valkyries, how far can you move? So since we're in the movement phase, we've got a super chat from Alexander Wilkins for £10. Cheers. Um, hey, VT. Goonhammer has Blood Angel's win rate at around 30% right now. Do you think that this is a data anomaly or a tough meta for them? Any list tech to help? Love the channel plus the DZ TV live stream. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, thank you very much for the super chat. Jake, what are your thoughts on the Blood Angels? What do I think about my movement? It's just a tough meta, <laughs> like, I think. Why? Just, obviously, Drakari's sort of running amok a bit with them, the amount of fight last they have to deal with. The amount of admech shooting that's going on as well is a bit ridiculous. Um, obviously, there's things you can put in your list to deal with these things. Um, but ultimately, I think it is just a tough... I think it is down to a tough meta. But again, a lot of the time, as we say here a lot on VT, you can have a tough meta, but if you are an expert with your army, yeah. then you can do anything. So you, to take a quote from you... Yeah. That a lot, well, it's not from you, but it's from, it's from Bruce Lee. <laughs> it's... Um, I fear a man who, who has practiced one kick a thousand times yep. rather than a man who has tried a, a thousand, thousand kicks, kicks yep. once. Yeah. There you go. And that is basically the same when it comes to Warhammer. Yeah, absolutely. Once you've got that sort of tried and tested list, yeah. then um, yeah, everything becomes a little bit easier. Yeah. It's all about repetition. Like if, if, you, if you, for example, you've played this Blood Angel list loads and loads of times and it, it works for you, and you're having success versus Qatar, yeah, or you're having success versus um, Drakari, yeah. then why change it? Yeah. You know, if, 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 if you're like, oh, the meta's really heavy in this, I'm going to change my list because it's not working, yeah. then that's a bit different than if it's having success. Yeah. So. Yeah, absolutely. So this one was actually here because of my deployment zone. So he's moved his 14 inches yeah. to get me engaged in all fronts, this, no this Torox Prime there. Okay. No he's got some little incursors coming out. Yeah, you've got some incursors. I can't really stop you from, uh, you know, basically... You need that engage. Yeah. You need these points. Yeah, I do need to get the engage points. Mm -hmm. So that actually gets me engaged because I've got my servitors over there. Yeah. They've also <laughs> rotted for me. Flyer. Yeah. A flyer. Then what we're going to do, I'm actually going to keep these Ogryn, just, I'm going to push these Ogryn into the sort of middle of this building a little bit more. Um, is it? Just stay on that priority objective because I've got to hold that. And then we're going to just put an obsec model on there as well. Push these signs up a little bit further into there. Uh, actually, maybe I might not rod with that. I might actually rod with this unit here. Yeah, so move them just a bit slightly into that zone. Yeah, they were on the line, so I'm going to move them six inches to here. Yeah, just and so then, they can rod. And then they can basically rod for me there, yeah. Is there a particular reason you wanted to swap it? Well, yeah, because it's going to be, I think, easier for me to get this done now yeah. in this deployment zone, because I don't think you've got anything that can actually threaten those servitors. Um, so actually, they can, they're can they pretty oh, chill there. I need to check his indirect. Yes, if he can, then I will rod with that, okay. please. And he is going to move and advance, so this guy right there. The dodo bird. Where is it? Two. So he's going to be going eight, just to the other side of that. He's going to move 20 inches over to there. We've got another super chat from Vincent for five euros. Yeah. What would be your hot take for custodies on GWUS open tables? I kind of want to play three Calidus, Calidius, oh, hang on, Caldeus on top of terrain as a way to destroy some dark uh, Eldar and Admech. It's not indirect. It's not indirect. It's just blast. Okay. Uh, could you repeat the question, please, again for me? I was just, sorry, concentrating on where I was sticking my plane. No, that's all good. Um, yeah, we had a, a super chat from Vincent. He said, um, what would be your hot take for custodies on the GWUS open terrain? Um, what kind of... Uh, he, he wants to play three Cal Caladius uh, on top of terrain as a way to destroy some DE and Admech. Oh, it's... Yeah, I mean... Just thinking about their terrain setup at the moment, um, 
it is going to be a little bit challenging because it's got those four big buildings really but as soon as you touch one you start to unlock it all but that does mean there's gonna be a lot of cover and i actually think the custode just a general guard having all that obsec and there's a there's a I think there's a relic in one of the shadow hosts that you can pick which basically gives you extra obsec on some of your stuff with the banner yeah which i really like that and i think that's really underused and actually quite underrated so um yeah i think they'll do well on that i think they could do well into the the Skatari and Drakari matchups anyway yeah because you know they're they're toughness five so they're wounding them on average of fives yeah you know they're three wounds each and they're two up save and their storm shields can have a three up and vulnerable save still one of the only things in the game that can yeah so it'll be interesting yeah no i i, I agree completely if you give it a test yeah let us know as i am very interested yeah i do think that um you know, and even like just some couple of units of bikes wouldn't be too bad because obviously yeah. all those um, just hurricane bolter shots. Yeah. I, I think Custodes are quite a good little matchup for some of the um, some of those harder counters that we're seeing at the moment. I in did the meta. enjoy when we played Custodes versus Sisters last week. You did enjoy using them. Mm, it was good fun. Okay, so I'm just putting my old grudges guy within six inches of these vehicles. All right, so they basically all get like that. Yeah, rear all wounds there. Mm -hmm. We've got another super chat. Yeah. Uh, from the Factorum this time for five pounds, Liam D is here. I think that deserves a mention. Yeah, nice. Well, thank you very much, everybody. House. Yeah, absolutely awesome. Right, okay, so we've got... Um, let's put the Torx Prime right there as well. Now, apologies to the chat. I'm just going to have to fiddle with the dice cam for a second on screen, so uh, ignore this. Just get me some line of sight on that... Uh, that thing over there you've got. What, the revolver? <laughs> huh? The revolver. Yeah, the repulsor. Yeah. That thing. I don't think I can actually see it, so I'm just going to line up. Well, I'm really worried about this plane up there. If, but you, if you do, take, you can leave the base there. Okay. Take him off. We don't want him falling. He's a nice model. Right, okay. So that's all my movement. They're rodding this turn, as we said earlier. Um, I'll just put this priest on that objective there as well to hold it. Um, you've got nothing in deep strike, have you? No, we're all out on the table. Right then. Here we go then. Shooting phase, are you ready? I was born ready. So this Steve. one, we're going to start with this one here. This one's re-rolling, um, we're not re-rolling hits of one. Any orders? Um, any orders? Any orders? No. Did you do them the start shooting phase? No, I'm not going to do any. No orders? No, we're all right. The rod of command is not coming to play yet. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> think, don't think I need it, you know. Um... Yeah, I don't think I need it. Obligatory two HQs. Okay, it. so let's just see if my... What's a big job? My um, my old grudges warlord trait is going to affect my planes. I really hope it does. It should do. Because it's old wording, so it should just affect all... Astra Militarum things. units. I'm assuming they've got the Astra Militarum keyword. Oh, no, we go. <laughs> you would hope that they you have. You would hope they have. They do, yeah. Okay, so all this lot is getting reroll wounds, all right? Oh, that's nice. Um, so we're going to kick off... Do I want to play a strat, though? Because I can actually disembark out of this Valkyrie right here. That could be good for the move block. It could be good for the move block, actually. Because you could deny my oath of moment pretty easily there. Yeah, and I might... Obviously, I can't... I can't... I, if I shoot them, I'd imagine I could kill them. Yeah. Do I get a unit of 10 out, then? Yeah. Uh, this is my... Yes, we'll get the unit of 10 out. So, Steve, we've got a slight issue with the dice cam. It's split-screening on the, on the screen instead of coming up as a box, and I just need a little hand for a second. Apologies again, chat. This should be resolved quickly for you. Okay, cool. I can sort that out. While you do that, I'm going to fiddle with our whiteboard. Yep. Quickly. Ba -ba. I'm basically spending a CP here so that I can uh, get out within five inches away from you, okay? Yeah. Right, let's have a little look what's going on here then. <laughs> yes, you need to press that button there. So when you press it now, uh, what is going on? Oh, you press that. There you go. Cool. All right. And then you need to obviously... Move it around, zoom it up on you. And then I'll put change on you. Has anybody realised why my list is illegal yet? No, I don't think it was. I think it was a mistake. All good, chat. So I'm, I'm actually that. okay. You I are, think you not are the villain. Okay, Steve, somehow. Yeah. Right. I did, you know, really check everything as much as I possibly could. So that's going to cost me one CP to basically pop those guys down outside of five from you, mate, okay? And you started on 10 CP this game? Yeah. 
basically the CP is uh, it's called precision drop. Use a strategy when you move movement phase, select one uh, astronautic Imperialis model with the flyer keyword, whatever, until the end of that phase when a Militarum Tempest unit with the aerial drop ability embarked upon this model disembarks. It used to set up wholly five inches away from enemy models instead of six. In addition, that model moved more than 20 inches of phase, which it did. Uh, do not roll a D6 for disembarking models. None are destroyed. Which is very good. It's quite nice, yeah. I like so what, it. What, it, what it's done there is it, it may have sacrificed a unit, but it's denied me over on turn one pretty much. Um, Unless well, I charge round. You have to charge round, yeah. yeah. But it means I, I, could, I, could, I could fluff it. <laughs> want to get some shots on mate really mm. and it it does actually as long as i get over six away from the middle it gets me engaged as well that is correct actually. so yeah that's gonna do that right there cool i'd love it if i could also scan that <laughs> ah <laughs> yeah because i'm not i'm not coming out from reinforcements no, you're coming out from a transport yeah that gets me engaged for the four points uh three or oh, four quarters three points Right then, let's start with some of these rockets. This yeah. is really weird. This is a phase I don't normally play as a shooting phase. This is this is your dominant phase, this game, Steve. I know. I don't what know how I feel about it. Like? Here we go then. We're going to kick off with v the Vulture. The right? Vulture? From now, you remove all damage by one, yeah? I do indeed. I have a six up, feel no pain. Okay, so what we're going to do um, is actually put the hotshot las guns into that unit over there, first of all. All right, um, and I'm within half range. So. If I keep all my unit within half range, let's see what other stratagems we got. Point blank, yeah. If I'm within half range, of that hot shot Lascan team is where it gets going to get quite spicy, I think, mate. I'm a bit nervous because I get extra AP on me. Get ready for it, Jane. Yeah, so I need I'm to be within nervous. nine to get this off. So, so I they get all have to be within nine. Mm, yeah, I'm going to make sure they're all within. Yeah, all within nine. None of them within five. Yeah, so they're all within nine now, okay? Yeah, no problem. Beautiful. And what does the strat do, Steve? So one CP, um, I can basically add plus one strength to the unit, okay? So you'll be winning me on fours? Yeah. That's quite good. Yep. That's a bit double decent. Yep. Yep, use the strategy when you shoot in phase after an enemy use 10%. So one from the unit that's been had any destroyed... Okay, cool. Here we go then. So yeah, we're going to kick off with that sign unit there. Going to get two shots each. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Twenty shots then. And I'm hitting, mate, on threes. Oh, yeah, I know. That's a bit. Well, then what does the lambda and lion? And then I'm going to spend another CP. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was coming. <laughs> and every six to wound is a mortal wound. Okay. <laughs> Liking that? Not oh, really. <laughs> Running fast, mate. <laughs> Shame mate wasn't to hit because that'd have been well nice. Oh, there's a two there. Thank we'll, you, mate. We'll lift that one. So wounding on fours. Because fours, you're strength three up to strength four. Not a single six. Wow, <laughs> that was a uh, waste of a CP, so wasn't it? Six saves. How do I not roll a six? Because you're used to. <laughs> How does that even happen? You're ready for T6s. How's that? <laughs> so just, uh -huh. It's ready for T6s. Just to get you a bit Minus above three. Average. Go on then. Oh, I get six up, six up. Nice. T6s. Two sixes, <laughs> yep. Like we said. Yep. Another one coming. There we go. <laughs> so one and, a, one and a half. Wow, that was a whiffer, wasn't it? A bit for, of a slight whiffer. For a million CPs. A bit of a whiffington. Um, okay then. Right, so that was not quite as effective as I'd hoped. Anyway, we move on in life. We move, we move. Um, right, now we're going to kick off with the Tempest uh, unit here. The, the Prime, the Torox Prime is going to shoot. Just checking a strat quickly. No, we're all good. <laughs> we're going to fire the auto cannons. If it's all right with you, mate, both can see your intercessors over there. Yeah, no problem. So I'll just do them both at the same time. No problem. So two shots from the auto cannons, because they're not getting any rerolls or anything. No. Two, it'll be 2d6 shots from what the... What strength for these? Uh, strength seven, mate. I'm tempted to Transhuman. I'll go with this one first yeah. because it can only see the one, and That's then that fine. one will go next. All I'll right? go. I'll transhuman. So I'll spend one CP. Mm -hmm. Do I get it back? Oh no, it's two CP because the unit's above ten five models. Yep. So I get one of the CPs back. Okay. So I w I'm down to eight. And um, you've used the CP, and I no, I didn't roll a five. So 
You've got over six models, you're over blast, so I'm going to get my yeah. flat six shots. Flat six shots. Because uh, it's D... Th I'm oh, no. down to nine models, so... Three shots of... Three D shots minimum. So the yeah. one that you rolled turns into three. Yeah. Cool. And then, so there are those. And then I've also got... So these are going to be D, uh, two D3 damage. Then I'll do my auto cannons after that. Nice. And these things hit on three plus as well. Two wounds. One wound. Oh yes. They <laughs> charge human, yeah. yeah. Minus. Minus one, mate. So I uh, unless it. I get the Lambert and Lion ability, let's have a little look on those. I did fail the save. Okay. But we're all right. <laughs> Hopefully we're gonna pass. Yep, uh, Lambda and Lion units, they would get a regiment, I'm sure, the Toroxes, yeah. so, so yeah. what's be the mi damage? Be minus two. Oh I've so I uh, failed anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be D3 damage. Cool. So just one failed. Just the one fail, actually. Just the one fail. Right, triple six coming up. Oh, nearly. Well, three fives. This is what I wasn't looking. What I'm just <laughs> and then I get my uh, auto cannon shots as well. Yep. Yep. So they get. I think it's just one auto cannon. Three hits. Looking for fours. Nothing. Get a little transhuman there. Well, this has been a bit of a whiffer, have not it, of a round? Right, well, Hopefully the Thunderbolt. Let's actually hope the Thunderbolt can do something, because otherwise we are we're not looking good. Right, so this is going to put... Um, so they're transhuman, aren't they? They are indeed, yeah. Right, I'm going to give up on that unit. We're going to put the Hellstrike missiles into your uh, repulsor. Yeah. And then we're going to put the Nose Cannon Auto Cannons. The Nose Cannon Auto Cannons. The Nose Cannon auto or the Thunderbolt cannon. Nose is going to go into. The Thunderbolt Nose. It's going to go into because it's mine. It's flat two damage. Reaction Alza. <laughs> That's going to go into the unit of intercessors right in front of us. Okay. So just so people know at home, it's split two, four, six, seven. It's split like that, and then the ten there. Cool. And then the um, Laz Cannons are also going to go into the repulsor. All right. You in there? Yeah. So the last cannons first. All right. Oh, Here we go. What's he hit on? Well, I'm hitting on fours. Oh. Both miss. Cool. Right. And Sorry, then bro. we're gonna go with <laughs> the missiles. Yeah. Both hit. There we go. <laughs> right. Uh, strength eight. I'm toughness eight. So fours. I get to real wounds. Oh, nice. Old grudges, oh, old grudges. Two wounds, Ooh. minus two. So, is it a three up or a two up? Let's have a look. I think it's a three up. If it's a two up, that's pretty nice. I could just check this book to be yeah. fair. <laughs> I'm so used to it all being on. And this is going to be D6 hand. damage plus two. But obviously plus one because you're going to neg it by one. Negate one, one yeah. yeah. It's a three up save, so five up. Five up saves. I need you to whiff these both, mate. Oh, you've passed one. Cool. I'm tempted to CP that one. I've got more last cannons yet. It's up to you. We... I'll, w I'll wait. Okay, cool. Damage is five. So... Comes six, six, basically. So six damage. I'll, so he's got ten wounds left. Okay. So I'll count up in this instance. So I'll put how many wounds he's taken. And then we're looking... At home. Then we're looking for these auto cannons. They're going to go into that unit there as well. Into so. the intercessors. No, into the... Oh, the, sorry, the non transhuman unit. Yeah. yeah, so that's three saves at minus one. So four plus, fail two, yep. two damage each. Two damage each. So first guy is alive. And then the next one and then kills, him. Is kills him. Does he get to shoot? Yes, he does. Oh, great. So okay, I'll I should put, not have shot this unit. <laughs> so I'll put three shots into this unit here. Should not have done that. Uh, threes, you're rolling ones. I or forgot here. about your banner. Threes, you're rolling ones. Three minus nothing. Uh, lose guy. Trade. Should not have done that at uh, all. I'll take that one. That was a big mistake, Stephen. Never forget about ba people's banners. Never forget about banners. Right. <laughs> Valkyrie numero one. Let's see what he can do. <sighs> okay, so the Laz Cannon. The Laz Cannon. I got two heavy bolters. I'm tempted just to put it all into um, basically your thing. I think you should, mate. You I got a Laz cannon. I got the Hellstrike missiles. It's gonna cause havoc. Yeah, I got the Hellstrike missiles as well. Um, yeah, let's do it. I think we just go all in, don't we? Really? Where is my 
I want to see if I get two last cannons or one last cannon. I imagine you so used too. to having twins, you know. Congra <laughs> congratulations. Thanks, mate. <laughs> okay, the Valkyries, here we go. So basically you make oh mate one last cannon and then I've got one Hellstrike missile. You have one last cannon. One last cannon per one. So I'll do them both at the same time. They're is both rerolling madness, wounds. Right. So last cannons both hit. Well, Steve. I know. Double six, mate. Steve. Both <laughs> wounds. <laughs> Minus three. Six ups. Nope. Um be 2d6 damage. I won't roll it because it's a 1 in 6 chance. 7. So I've now got 3 wing, three wings left, so I'll just pop 3 on it there. I'm tempted to have CP reroll this too, you know. Now we'll. Well, you got another. you got gonna, missiles. How many wings you got left? He's got 3 wings left. So basically, have, I, have you took a damage point off each thing? Oh, yeah? no, I didn't. So I've got 5 wings left. Right, okay. He's doing that old trick. Watch him, Stephen. Yeah. What's that, CP? So each one of these will be minus by one. Yeah. I'll, I'm going to CP reroll my two. Yeah. Okay. Um, so hang on. For the damage. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Into a three. So it's only going to add one Cash extra money. one. So yeah. now I'm. So I've got four wounds remaining. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fire those rockets. One hits. Oh. Fails to wound, but of all grudges with a reroll. Yes, it wounds. Minus. Minus two, mate. So five up. I'm going to CP re-roll it. Okay. Because it's pretty big. Yep. Uh, so down seven, because I've already regained one. Yep. No. <laughs> oh, I didn't fail. get to do my six up for no pains versus those. Okay. Do you want to roll yeah, those now? So I took seven, eight wounds. One. So I'm back up to five. Got a wound left, okay. Cool. So I'm there. back up. So I've got five wounds left. So I now roll two dice and I can pick the highest. I'm going to pick the six, so that becomes a five. So now I need to pass at least one and feel no pain. Yeah. He's passed pass two. two. Wow. Don't, don't tell me the odds. <laughs> right, <laughs> okay. Now the, two now the two heavy bolters. Are they going to be the heroes? <laughs> I think they are. I said I'd put them all in. Is gonna hit Here we so go. Much right now. <laughs> fours. Uh, yes, it's fours, unfortunately. <laughs> Jiggy. Is okay. it? Yeah. Oh, no. And then we're looking for fives. Five, but re-rolling. But re-rolling the failed. That's, too many, mate. that's three saves there, mate. Four up. Minus ones. Two have gone through, so that's one damage each. Oh, yeah. So I'm on one wound. Oh, no, he's dead. He's dead, oh, yeah. No. Oh, wait, now. I'm does he explode? He does. He explodes, look. Steven, are you doing oh, damage in a game of 40k in the I've, shooting phase? I've just killed something. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. What's happened? Started off badly, but... I don't even get to get to use this strat to shoot on death. I know, mate. Um, oh, my God. The worst bit is... It's... I would feel sorry for you, but I absolutely don't. I think that's brilliant. <laughs> Who brings a repulsor these days? Everyone within six inches suffers D6 more wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> right. Derizeo to... Does he ignore it? No. Okay. <laughs> so he's down to nine. So yeah. I'll just put he's taken two. Okay. Right. Intercessor unit that's already taken some models. Three. None of them pass it. So I'll, what I'll do, I'll wait to the end to roll for the banner. Yep. Okay. Um, so I'll take that one. Just so you forget about it, Steve. Yeah. yeah. Just to never forget the banner. So I'm going to lose my entire unit, aren't the I? The other intercessor unit takes four. Oh, well, this is why Chef Apothecary's here. Um, <laughs> so... And then I'm going to take these two, okay. just so then it's not confusing anymore. Yeah, okay. Off a carry. Yeah. Oh just the one. <laughs> he's he's, he's yep. uh, taking a wound. Uh, Lieutenant, three. He's taken three. Ferros. He's taken six. <laughs> wow. How many wounds has he got? <laughs> But luckily, the he no should seven. be alive. Yeah, he should be right. I yeah. will double check it. Also, don't forget he has a five up for no pain. Oh, does he? Oh, so I'll pass two. So yeah, okay, cool. he's taken four. <laughs> the the Poff K's taken one. The <laughs> lieutenant's taken three. The captain <laughs> taken two. You couldn't write it, could you? He's also taken two. Ooh. Yep. Just all over the place. And then uh, Banner yep. takes six. <laughs> <laughs> and he fails them all, so he's dead as well. So no steadfast example no, gone. Well, so that, that bit of a list is, is out the window. Um, so I'll roll to see if, because obviously these would have died before him. Yeah, exactly. So I'll yeah. see if I get to shoot. Yeah. 
Oh, two. Yep. So I'll put them obviously into the, the yep. little unit there. Freeze. Yep. <laughs> Freeze. Just like ones. everyone to see Steve's composure currently. Freeze. <laughs> no <laughs> minus. He's having a whale of a time, guys. Look at that. Uh, it's too dead. Very different story to the last time I was here. Well, this is... Uh, That's madness. I mean, this shooting phase did not start well, and then it's just so, gone brilliantly. Two on him. No, one on I do him. actually feel a bit bad, you know. I was happy to say that... Just take it off and we'll just pretend nah, it didn't mate. explode. That's right. Because it is a bit I too destructive, I, I think. I don't know how I'm killing your, your flyers now. Hopefully endangered species over here. Yeah. The dodo bird will do some do me proud. Yeah. Well, at least your pothcurry's still about. This so is the thing. We have he's to be got thankful. A, he's got a lot of healing, that pothcurry <laughs> now. He's got a job to do. Yeah. Everyone really who has. was doubting him in the list. Yeah. He's here now. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be like, don't worry, Ferris, I've got your back. I wanted the repulse survival on one wound. Yeah. And then Ferros potentially double, maybe triple healing. Mm. And be like, what? yeah. What you phase? Well, that was a big phase. That for was me. a massive phase. It was very, very I'm actually good, sorry. I'm sure I should have just killed the thing in just. It's the game of Warhammer 40,000. I hate dice, mate. <laughs> I may join dice you on that sentiment. You, that's we could play a game one day where. Without dice. I am joking. <laughs> before all the hate comes. Yeah. Where we just don't use dice. Yeah, we don't use <laughs> and we dice. We just use mathematics. Yeah. You Some and Hello Kitty calculator. Me yeah. with my. It's like phone. you've got two seven-inch charges. You can pick one to get in. Yeah. 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 Cool. Love it. But which one? Yeah. Right. After that destructive phase. So I think I'm going to go and sit back over here now in a, you know, just... Did I don't, you, I don't think I'm going to make a charge. Any leaderships? Do you need leadership? Mm. I don't need any. I'll roll a dice. I rolled a four, I think yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, you're fine. I only lost three. Right. Right, so at the end of that then, <laughs> at the end of that one. I scored three points on engage, I got a rod and um, the mission. For three. For three points. Nice one, mate. Yeah. So the start of my game, I'm going to... Did you get that all down, Eddie? Bear with me. I'm really sorry, Jake, that was a whiffer from you. Right. So what have you scored there, Steve? Um, I scored, I should be on seven points total, three for engage, sorry, yeah. six points in total, three for engage, three for... Uh, the mission, yeah, put me on 16 points total. Brilliant. So, what do, you, what do you think, chat? Yeah, what do you much. think, chat? That's, this has been a big game so far. We've had a bit of a swing there. That's right. Stephen's actually done something. And this is, is this why you wanted <laughs> him in the list? <laughs> put the repulsion See, the there. thing is... Um, it would have been cool. Yeah. We were talking about where do you deploy the repulsor. You yeah. could have put him at the back of the table, but yeah. if him at the back of the table, you struggle to get Lana Sart on Earth, and I've got planes anyway, so I just position yeah. them so I can see stuff. Yeah. The thing is, that we've got to remember, is that if this thing was allowed to shoot, yeah. potentially two of these are gone. Yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. I'll forgive you. Yeah. We'll talk about it after. We'll talk about it after. In the car ride yeah. home. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to cry. Um, right, so start of my command phase, I'm going to get one command point. Yeah. Just for... Oh yeah, here. I didn't even put my CP on. So I'm up to eight. Got to think about all the healing now. Mm. So I'm going to use... Oh no, I use that strat in the shooting phase. That's fine. So, so Steve, cool you strat. forgot to put your command point on, so you should be back on eight. Is that correct? No, I spent one for disembarking. I spent two stratagems. Um, so... It, Sneeze from Robbie, if anybody heard a really oh, weird the noise there. Was, was sneeze. It wasn't the... Jake letting one rip. <laughs> I, thought, um, I thought the so earth was about to fall over. So CPs, <laughs> let me just quickly run through this. Disembarked, mortal wound thing, plus one uh, strength thing. You so had a reroll as well. And a reroll. So I spent four. Um, I was up to, a, started on 11. You 11 minus three is? 11 minus three. Yeah. Is eight. Eight, cool. I'm on eight. Um, so in my command phase... I don't know when I do I'm pretty sure I do it in my command phase. I'm just going to do it now because it won't change the difference. Ferros will give the unit of incest in front of him plus one to him. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, you also spent two CPs, didn't you? I did. Well, so you've already rolled for one. Yeah, roll, didn't get the second you one. didn't get the other one, cool. Um, right, now we go into the glorious, glorious movement. Well, we've got some super chats lined up, guys, while you're doing that. Oh, so nice. Bear with me and we'll get them out. Can't. Uh, I could. But I could charge that unit into there. Yeah. Probably kill him and then just use my consolidation and swing around that and get to the open moment. So we're going to do that. Okay then, <laughs> fire him away, mate. Bear with me. Is this a mission? Back to the top. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Is this a mission where I can leave the objective? No, no, I thought so. Cries in the corner. I don't think I don't think it's a take and hold mission. No, that's right. I'll pop these guys just out. 
touching the cover. So we've, for, we've got a super chat from Henrik Thompson uh, for 45 uh, DKK. Not entirely oh. sure what that currency Death is. Death Corps of Creek. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, are the VT going on summer vacation this year? Have a good game, you guys. So are the VT crew? Well, I don't think I've ever been on summer vacation. So. I am going on a little three-day break for my birthday. Yeah, so a five-day break, actually. Ooh. Yeah. Um, going away with Amy. Uh, we're going away for a few days, and I'm heading up to Nottingham for a couple of days. I wonder why that is. Uh, hanging out up there for a while. Um, so, yeah, got some things planned. Yeah. Um, yes. Um, what else? But, yeah, I don't actually have, like, a summer holiday planned. I'd love to go away, though. I really could do a week in Spain, you know, like a certain Eddie's just got back from. Oh, it was good. Oh, you go to Spain? Yeah, it was, oh, it was hard work getting out there, though, honestly. You not tell by that tan he's got. That yeah, color. I'm rocking the tan this week. <laughs> the the colour of the man, oh. yeah. Well, we've got another soup chat. Oh, I'm got, gonna, were you going to say something, Jake? Sorry, I, what I was going to say, I'm just, I'm just going to do it now. Just do what you want to do. heal him and heal the captain. We'll tell people at the yeah, end. You yeah. crack on, Jake. Nice. We'll, we'll just talk over you. So, we've got another soup <laughs> chat from Cameron Wageman for yep. nine, $9.99. Uh, all good on the Templars, but hope to see them soon. Uh, Nick, Kay and I, we think we're the first VT members who had, who had to play each other in an event this weekend at Show Me Showdown. It was a hell of an event, apparently. Yeah. Nice. I like Sounds good. Thanks so much for the super chat, by the way. Yeah. I like hearing when everyone has fun. Uh, yeah. We've got one from Sean Kruger for five dollars. Running Farsight Enclave for a GT coming up. Tips of secondaries. Usually I go engage, raise banners, and the third is always a tough call. Tricky without those codex secondaries, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, I think you've got to start looking at because um, obviously you've got no psychic ones, unfortunately. Tau don't do powers. Um, they've also they don't have a huge amount of obsec either, so then that stranglehold could be quite tricky. So engages, I think, are given. Um, you could look at retrieve Octaris data. That's not a bad one. I think you know Tau certainly got the mobility to do that. And then maybe look at building your list around to the last and just aiming to keep two units alive each game for a ten, just a solid ten points. Um, if you cut down on the amount of like little drone units you've got, then um, you know you might look at bring it down depending on this. Uh, not bring it down, but grind them down. Uh, but the remember thing their ranks is always a good option. Like I could have took it against Jake today. He's got those 40 Marines. That's eight points right there if I get rid of those. But um, yeah, do look at thin their ranks sometimes as a good option. But yeah, build your list around to the last. That yeah. definitely. And then you've got a good solid three picks then, even before you get to the table and see what your opponent's got. Yeah. I like it. Brilliant. Right. Same. So we've got a couple more super chats. We've got one from Kenneth Ward for five pounds. When your homie asks if you prefer snow bunnies or slaw bunnies, I'm not sure. What I'm that not means. sure about that one either. Kenneth you have to explain Blitz. that one, Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth, Kenneth does come Blitz. out with the most random comments. Oh, he's a, he's a personal hero of mine. Yeah, <laughs> it's just on the random the <laughs> scale random, of ten. Yeah. Uh, we've got one from the Factorum for yeah. ten pounds. We want Eddie to play a game on the live stream. Apparently, I don't know why. Anyone would want to see that. But, I'll, I'll wow. go back to um, my DJing days. And then v, uh, VT Kylo uh, has followed that up with a £5 donation saying just so we can all see Eddie's face. Brilliant. Well, you can see your face now, look. I mean, okay. it's got, you can get the macro lens Howdy. on it. Get the macro lens Ooh, right yeah. in there. Look at that. Oh, look at, look at all these buttons I have to contend on, with. Now it. you can see the pain I'm in. <laughs> so, look, Eddie, you can go on the macro lens now as well. Oh, which one's that? Over here. Oh, yeah. Hello. You need to um, press three. I need to actually do it, don't I? Yeah. There we go, look. There we go. Brilliant. Look at, look at the tan on the man. Oh, I'm so orange. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't get that tan going to Wembley Sunday. I just got heartbreak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah DJ Eddie in the house. So I'll go back to you guys now. Um, yeah. <laughs> you've probably had enough of that already. Um, what else have we got? Another super chat. Um, Matthew Atwood, $5. Look at the smile on Steve's face from the Iron Hands explosion. Yeah. That was beautiful. Uh, so I got heartbreak on Sunday and now Tuesday nights. So when is it ever going to stop? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Do you want uh, to go? Have I don't, we got I'm any not more sure. Chats? We've got loads, but uh, you guys can crack on if you want, and I'll save well, them for next round. It's what up we to could you. Do, I'm loving all these well, super chats. Well, what chat, we could guys. do, yeah. if you're all right with it, have a 10 minute break, get well, a cup of tea, go through super chats. Maybe mean, so, so, so I can get my composure. Yeah. Is, um, you can always mute us while we're doing shooting, read out all the super chats, yeah, and then. We can when just I'm fill done. you in what's happened. Because if I'm honest, this shooting phase is going to be a ton of bolters okay. at planes. But we love bolters. Okay. That's what we're all Would here you love for, them at Jake? planes, though? <laughs> no, probably not. Well, I'll um, I'll let you guys crack on in the right. background then, and I'll get some well, super chats. I'll out. quickly just go through what I did in my movement phase. Yeah, do a quick movement so phase roundup. I healed two characters from the apothecary. Yeah. Theros is now 
only taken one wound. Okay. The captain is not taking any. Okay. He picked up a marine in this unit. Yeah. Pharos has healed the dodo. Okay. Full wounds. And then I basically just shifted the whole army this way. Yeah. Everybody is within six inches of Pharos. Yeah. So they're all getting a five up in vulnerable save. Okay. And everybody's within six inches of reroll ones to hit. Everyone's within six inches of reroll ones to wound. Love it. So you've recovered from your explosion, I've basically. Had, I've had a moment, yep. and we're all, we're all right. You've just lost your banner. I've just lost the banner. I don't think you're going to need that much anyway. I, yeah, I think it, what it did is it just forced the secondary pick from you, so yeah. I'm happy with it. Yeah. And then obviously I've just moved this little infiltrator unit out, potentially... To, to gain the objective. To gain the objective, there is something I could do with it. Because you need to get a stranglehold. I do, so yeah. I, that's what I need on that objective. You do, yeah, and you, you do not want to kill that okay. unit there, because what you want to do is charge that unit, yeah. as you and know, swing. use your charge and consolidate just a pile of model onto that objective yeah. and you're going to claim it off me. And if... Ideally, I kill the unit, which is what I'm hoping to do in combat. I can yep. then use my consolidation and pile in and get into the middle for the moment. Because you'll oh, no. be wholly within yeah, six. Wholly within you? six. Which is doable yeah. because we are quite close. Yeah. Right, okay, love that. So, that that. do you want to shoot your Derrideo yeah, on camera? Because this is the important one. Yeah. Right. yeah, you get this one out of the way. Right. And we'll, uh... I'm going to spend a command point on him. Okay. So, basically, every six I roll to wound yeah. is two wounds. Okay, wow, doubling up. And all of his shots yeah. are going to go into that thing not my vulture my vulture definitely your vulture mate or the thunderbolt so all of his shots going in there oh yeah the thunderbolt so yeah. this is his his arms okay so he frees to hit that's including the minus one yep here's on twos oh Pharos gives him plus one doesn't he yeah. wow that's what we've very got. nice hit that say so, i'm t10 t are you tough as 10 no no how much tough as seven. Oh, cool yeah. so freeze to wound no sixes there excellent but five at minus just quickly going to double check if it's minus three or minus four, just because we're in the... Um, well, it's quite significant, because I've got a three plus eight. we're in Devastate. Oh, I should have been re-rolling one six from Devastate Dodge, same way. I didn't, don't think I've got any. I don't think you did, actually, no. Um, I'll remember it for the other one. I'm going to roll some dice. You roll it, I'll tell you. I've had a whiffer, so... It's minus three. Okay, cool, so they've all gone through. So two damage each. Right, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Ten damage, four wounds left. That's what we call a Steve roll, chat. <laughs> yeah, we're back to normal, guys. I can yeah. roll like England can take penalties. Ooh, what heart soon, breaking my heart as I was there screaming the boys on. I'm proud of all of you, by the way. If any of you watch this, <laughs> I'm proud of you. Well done, guys. Fives. So three wounds. Yeah. Because that one does an additional. Okay. These are minus two because of devastated doctrine. Right. Hang on a minute. And they're only one damage though. It's not going to kill you. Oh, no, no. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Wow, it worked. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Turns oh. out, tapping your feet Indeed. doesn't roll no, for taking okay. penalties, penalties, but does ro <laughs> does work for rolling dice. Who would have known? Minus what, was it? Minus two. Oh, so I'm actually perfect. Yeah, because you're free up save. Boom. <laughs> okay. <sighs> We've got our composure back. I don't know how often I can do that. I'm playing 40k. <laughs> Maybe it <laughs> will, though. Wobbles. Maybe, it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe it will get rid of Warhammer legs, though. Could you a tournament? Oh, you Warhammer go. legs? What Look, is that? Tips from Mr. Box. Warhammer yeah. legs. Counted. So, Warhammer legs is when you are basically, you know, <laughs> stood still for a very long time. You're actually better off walking more than you are just stood still. So, yeah, when you get that sort of dead leg feeling, blood I, circulation starts to decrease a little I, bit. I am, one of my hobby sins, I am a pacer. You're it a comes pacer. at the table. Yeah. So, anyone that plays me at an event, I am sorry. He, no, I'm, just, a, I'm a pacer. He also just wanders off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, sometimes I'm just like... He's off. He's gone. Cool. Right. <laughs> right, anyway, Jake, let's, uh, we've got to actually chain him to the desk so he doesn't leave here. Ferros is going to shoot with the Thunderbolt as well. Okay, so that was all your guns done. That was your heavy bolters, that, all your rockets. Oh, no, he's got, he's got heavy bolters. I've done the rockets. Okay. Now it's the heavy bolters. All right, then, mate. I forgot he had them. You've got to keep on top of him, Steve. Come on. So you re-roll ones. Yeah. Don't you hit on two? Oh, you hit on threes, yeah. Because yeah. of because of Ferros. Plus one, minus one. Yeah. And then three wounds uh, what, because what of the six. Oh, yeah. Because of the strap. Okay. All heavy weapons. Here minus we go, then. two. Minus two. Oh, God, <laughs> no. Uh, two go through. So four damage. Ooh. That does kill him. Oh, dear. Is it, is it a CP time? It's not. It's not. He's dead. He's dead. Cool. It's not, it's not worth it. It doesn't it, explode. It doesn't explode. I can't do sixes like you, mate. Well, basically, I lost a load of points. You've lost a load of points. Yeah. I'm happy with that. We're loaded points down. Deradeo coming in strong. Right. Ferros now. Yeah. He's going to shoot. The Valkyrie. Okay then. Fun. This is the bit where you can probably do all the super chats now because this is where you're just going to hammer loads of shots. It's just going to be a ton of bolters. Okay. Right. right, we've got a couple left. Um, so if you mute us, yeah, I'll mute you guys so and then I'll read them out. Talking. 
So we've got um, one from Liam Dempsey for four pounds ninety nine. Cheers, Liam. Um, just so Steve doesn't forget about me. <laughs> I'll never forget about Liam. I love Liam and yeah, all the crew at DZ. I've I been... can't do without him, mate. <laughs> I love him. He's a good boy. Um, we've got another one from Vincent for five euros. This is a follow up, Steve, to his earlier talk about custodies. Um, after your suggestions, um, he says he's got one captain on bike, Trajan. Uh, three times four guards with shields, two times four bikes, Vexilla with obsec relic, and one Caladius. I still can't say that. Caladius? Caladius. Caladius. Caladius, <laughs> darling. Uh, I, I like it. I think it's nice. It's a good list. I like that, yeah. I like that. Um, Thunderbolt has got 15 wounds, not 14. So he's, so he's actually got, He's actually wound. got a wound left. Now, so do you want to put your Theros's that's what, oh, yeah. heavy bolts into him? So yeah? it's... So, what's the toughness of the Thunderbolt, sorry? It's toughness seven. So, fives. So, two wounds, okay. minus two. Here we go, then. Two five-ups coming. No. Do you want to see if it explains no. again? No. It's, it's <laughs> gone. Cool. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It was Valkyries have four, Thunderbolts have 15. No. Bit of an awkward number, but anyway. Right. Cool. Now we're just going to do a ton of assault bolt shot. Okay. Right. Three. But, Liam, we haven't forgot about you. Are we unmuted, by the way? You didn't keep it. Yeah, no, you're, you're unmuted. Five. Right. Cool. You were muted then, though, weren't you? I was muted then, yeah. Four, yeah. Five, Just catching me out every turn, Steve. You're like, we're unmuted, yeah. No, not right, you. These are, Sucker. <laughs> so this is the unit of eight. Yep. So I need to roll two more lots of this. This is all going into the Valkyrie. Into, everything's in the Valkyrie at this point. Real ones. Real ones. Because the captain and, and stuff. And then I need to roll another six. And you're minus one to hit, aren't you? Because I'm oh, hard yeah. to hit, remember? Nice one. So I'll just re-roll these ones for yep. my other shots. Yep. Real ones. Hitting on fours, nice. So winning on five. Winning on five, mate. Yep. There's I no got fourteen minus. wounds, three plus save. So that's. I wonder if you can give planes take cover. Oh, I need that with six. It does say nothing. unit. Does it? I mean, is it, it without the sense. fly keyword? Huh? It doesn't make much sense, but it does say unit. Double check it. Just, yeah, because it could be unit without the fly keyword. Hopefully it is. If not, we're in a bit of Jake's trouble. hoping. <laughs> so... Take cover. Use this in your opponent's shooting phase when an opponent yeah. selects one of your units as a target. You can add one to the saving throws for that unit. Oh. So, take me off a CP, good sir, because I'm taking cover. That I shall, sir. You, were you shooting this one? It was that one, yeah. yeah. So, two up saves. Oh, cool. Still first thing. Yep. Nice one. Of course it is. <laughs> um, so, yes, uh, that takes me down to 12. Cool. Now, this unit will yeah. shoot the one behind it. Oh, yeah. Because, obviously, now... We know that. Yeah. Um, so there's eight in that unit as well. So exact same thing again. Okay. So, so like, even by putting that stratagem on, now you're wasted some wounds, yeah. haven't you, basically? Basically, yeah. yeah. And got me down some CP. So these are three rolling ones. I might actually have to go out and buy this Tempesta sign list. I quite like it. It is cool, isn't it? Yeah. It, is, it looks very cool as well. Um, Daisy's or... standing on the squeaky floorboards. Oh, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. We'll let Daisy off. She does a great job with that macro lens. There's some beautiful action shots going on. Is there? Yeah, it really are. Yeah. That's what we like to hear. All the action uh, in one place. Uh, five. Five this wounds. This is on the one that's not plus one save. Uh, no minus, right? No minus. So, not yet. Three ups. Apparently it was FAQ, Steve, that you can't use it on aircraft. Um, <sighs> sorry, mate. Right. Right, well, I think I rolled a two you as well. You rolled a two as well, so that will do. And then you're going to want to put this carry on that one, on yeah? Him, yeah? Okay, so I'll take off another Thank two more wounds, yeah? Oh, that's fine, yeah. So I'm down Keep to ten. Down, cool. Uh, next unit, this is the. Yeah, they get all re rolls as well. There's 30 of them. So basically. Just infantry only now. Cool. Yeah. This again, but with. Is that a great sportsmanship there yeah, from both of us? That's what we like. Yeah. Bit of back is, and forth. This is what we like. Yeah. We're, we're on the plane hunt. Yeah. I know what you're trying to do. I'm not trying to cheat. Yeah. You, you know. know that if, if I knew you didn't use that. Yeah, exactly. Fours, re-rolling ones. Oh, sixes. That double wound thing. Minus one to hit, remember? Yeah, that's fine. Still fours. Nice. Um, right, I need to roll 12 dice after this, but I'll do it all. Two, three, yep. four, five. Five wounds? Five wounds, and then I'll just... Loves it. Nice one. And then... Didn't even need to do the runny thing. <laughs> and this is the this is the rest of the squad. What I'm going to do in a minute, Jake, yeah. is I'm going to look right, but I'm going to roll left. <laughs> and then break my heart. <laughs> um, <laughs> five, no yeah. minus. I'm not going to look at my hands or the dice. <laughs> just gonna I'm going to look straight into your eyes. Yeah. Roll the dice, go left. 
Just the one I've wound. I've saved one. <laughs> Down to nine. And then, right, and then the final unit, they've got nine in, so basically this exact same thing again. It's a lot of shots, mate. I'm glad you're not shooting anything in the infantry, because I think they'd all be dead. Thank God, also. Let's just say a special thank you to the Repulsor for killing off the banner. Bet you wish <laughs> you had some of those stalker ones now, didn't you? I don't, I don't know, I still like this. Yeah. Um, so. But this is very good in the Ranger meta. Yeah. And Witch meta. Yeah. Four. Not so great in the Valkyrie meta. <laughs> no. Seen it here first, guys, so on BT. Four saves, and then I've got another nine to do. Two go through. Nice one. Down to seven. He's doing something. Yeah, he's chipping he's away. Doing chipping. Something. Oh. And then Death by many cuts, as they say. Exactly. That wasn't too bad. Oh, they sixes. You've rolled pretty well, actually. Just, in fact, too well earlier, and that's why you got that big six. <laughs> Three at no minus. Love it. Nice one. And There's then a couple of people laughing in the chat about a plane taking cover in trenches. <laughs> yeah. That's and what you do. Or right. it could be like, right. you could be doing some sort of evasive manoeuvre, yeah. like seeing a big cloud, <laughs> taking the cloud, and, you know, it's just helping the armour in some sort of way. Just fly anyway. behind the building, tuck the wings in. Yeah. yeah. That's Easy. what... You know, could be like the classic dogfires. Never know. Yeah. Um, this is all the characters. Yeah. Just shooting at the plane as well. No rerolls. One. You'd still get reroll ones though, wouldn't you? You're in the. Oh no, that's only with heavy only weapons. Only heavy weapons. Just yeah. a one wound, yeah. Just a one wound, actually. Just a one wound. Oh, it goes oh through. nice one. So only down one to damage. six. Nice. Well, I did a lot more there than I thought I would. Um, well, you got rid of one plane, and I think yeah. he's two hundred and ten points. Yeah. And these ain't cheap either. I'm going to charge. Wow, that is a bold there's, move. There's, there's a reason. Okay. <laughs> Not well, very well. You've, have you I've, failed I've, that? You've I'm, actually failed I've it. I've actually failed it. You've actually failed it. <laughs> So, I'm not what, what was your intent there? Basically, Go on. I want to charge him in, try and get a big number just to screen a bit more off around here. Well, why don't you re-roll it then, if you want, if that's what you're looking for? Yeah, I, I, the thing is, I really need a big charge here. Okay, so then don't I, waste I, I it. I don't yet. want to waste I'm happy it. to say you're in on a three, because yeah. you could have just said, I'm within three, to yeah. make the charge. Well, if you're all right with that. I'm happy to or, say that. I won't yeah. obviously screen out a lot, I'll just do that. Exactly, yeah, you wouldn't it's, get a screen. The, just, other, the other reason as well is it just gets me... Um, Stop this from shooting, basically. I just have to shoot the unit. You just have yeah. to shoot the unit. Cool. Which is fine. Happy with it. And then um, obviously I'm minus one to hit. Yeah. Yep. Intercessor unit that's right in front of them yep. into the um, Scions. And this is where you need a big charge, yep. Oh, no, this is this is that unit. Okay. I'm going to try and get the big charge of that one. Well, why don't you go with the... You don't want to block yourself off. So, so you should declare this unit first, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Right, we'll do that then. So six inches. So if I... Because what we're trying to do here, basically, to explain it... I'm going to move as many models over this way yep. as I can. Obviously, one model has to go within an one inch. One model has to go within an inch. And then this unit, hopefully, should just kill them. Yeah, so they have to swing first. Yeah. Because that would enable this unit, the one that you want to get the full movement of the six inches to get wholly within six, yeah. if they don't have to pile in towards the unit, because if they're not there, you can pile in towards the Valkyrie, yeah. being the closest enemy model, Sorry, consolidate closest to the Valkyrie, yeah. and then get right in the centre of that objective. And then the other unit, oh. They don't even need a big one, but they've got it anyway. I wanted it the other way around. Yeah, but that's fine. That's right. Get them all in combat. Yep. It's a nice shot of Jake's arm for everyone there. There you go. Right. The gunnage. The guns. Huge. Yep. The gun show, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> um, right. Now, this is where... Quite important. I yep. didn't get to show off my, other, my one of my strats in my shooting phase for double shooting intercessors. So Ooh. that one's we're going to leave that one. Yeah. Then so we're going to go into some combat. Okay. So obviously the big unit of intercessors over there first. Yep. So they are getting three attacks each. Should I just pick them up? Yeah. If you're right. I'm happy to pick them up. It's just the rerolling hits. Not rerolling. Hit, rerolling ones to hit. Rerolling ones to wound. Hitting on freeze. Wounding on freeze. Yeah. And I'm going to get a four plus save. Yeah. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy to pick them up. Cool. And then you basically consolidate in with the so unit. So I'll consolidate with this unit. Yep. They'll go just a bit forward. While you guys are doing a bit of messing about there, I'm just going to read out Super Chat. And then these guys just go and in. And basically this unit is just going to shove them its out. way. Go on then. So We've got one from Craig Knight for $5. I played in a new players tournament last week. Question. How do you organise the stratagems you plan on using while you're still trying to learn a new army? Um, okay, so what I've done, for me personally, obviously this is a new army for me. Um, I just wrote down six that I'm going to use this game. Um, six that I'm probably going to regularly li use and then that way I've only got six things to remember um, and then what you could do is make yourself a cheat sheet like I've done um, and then basically have it on hand at any time so you know where to reference what page on 
Um, and again, like just making it super simple for you. So just pick the six most significant and most useful stratagems that you have available and don't worry about any of the others. And the more repetitions you get in with that list, every time you play, introduce two new stratagems to use um, and then encourage yourself to build your skill level up. Don't try and go in knowing absolutely everything. No, like, don't worst be, thing you can do. Yeah, don't try and take extra warlord traits, extra relics. Just take one warlord trait, one relic. Yeah. Keep it super simple. I made a video recently on YouTube, which is basically what I would do if I was beginning the game. Yeah. Check that out. Um, it's like seven top tips if you're beginning 40k, but it's all about keeping stuff simple and in multiple amounts of repetitions. Mm -hmm. That was where the Bruce Lee quote really came from, yeah. was because if you take one unit... Um, so let's take Jake's list here with those intercessors. He's going to get really good repetitions using six units of intercessors, say, um, because he's going to get six movement phases yeah. every single turn using that same profile. So by the end of this uh, game, Jake's going to understand what assault bolters do. He'll be able to tell you exactly how many wounds he does against a toughness six vehicle. Yeah with a three plus save, with that much firepower, he'll know that will start to become ingrained because he's using the same unit over and over again. Uh, rather than having one unit which has one movement phase, one shoot phase, one charge phase, and you might be lucky to do that five times over the course of the game, have six units of the same, all of a sudden that's 30 repetitions rather than five, and that is massive. Isn't my math correct there? That is correct. I, I, you know, I, I wasn't... Six times five math, is yeah. 30, Steve. I've already learned all this on the Vanguard Tactics Academy, so um, you know I don't need to pay attention. It's water for the duck's back for you now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, oh, but sort of repetition is key. On. It's like that, that lesson you have at school where they're like, we've already done this, but we're going to do it again. Because it's never, it's never wrong to just keep reinforcing stuff. This is the most pointless one. It's not going to do anything well. Okay. We've got one more super one chat nine. from the Factorum, five pounds, towards bunny slippers for Robbie and Daisy Cam to stop creaking the floorboards. I mean, you might just, uh, if you donate enough, we can get new floorboards. <laughs> <laughs> we get nice carpet. So the Factorum needs to donate to us yeah. the super chat money. So we can buy carpet. So we can buy the <laughs> I want carpet. Seems nice a very carpet. strange way of doing it, but uh, cool. Yeah, I, thank you very much, Factorum. Bunny <laughs> slippers, that. though, definitely would be so interesting. Definitely yeah, much. I think... Robbie, I don't think Robbie even needs to actually buy something. I think he just bring his ones from home and yeah. that'd be okay. And then he can just put his foot up in front of the camera every stream instead yeah. of his thumb. And we've got the most famous bunny slippers in 40k. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Daisy's can have the biggest bunny slippers in 40k. Have we got one, we go. one time, time for one more super chat? Of course. We yeah, always have time for a super so chat. So we've got one from Heise Rosenheim for five euros. Hey guys, great game, great content. In your opinion, what is the strat of aircrafts in ninth and what are the three best? Three best state, sorry, if that's supposed to say, what is the state of aircraft in ninth, and what are the three best? So, they are. Tr they're, this is interesting, really, because they they were extremely popular in eighth. In ninth, they've seen a bit of a decline, but are coming back into fashion. They are coming a bit back into fashion, aren't they, mate? Because there's a lot less. Because ninth edition started off as a gun game, it yeah. then moved quite quickly into a combat game because of objectives. As the guns have sort of decreased in armies it's all of a sudden given a bit of a rise for more vehicle potential now. Yeah. Okay, So as guns have gone down, or damage output at long range has gone down, it actually gives a bit of a rise to planes again, um, which is actually quite nice. To, as we see, I've, I've lost one, but I'm happy that's okay. Yeah. Um, and that's a, pretty much a full army worth of shooting. Um, I actually really like these transport ones. You know? I, think, I think a transport plane is quite underrated. Yeah, I do. Transport is really underrated generally, and then also you've got the Admech planes. Yeah. Any version of those are pretty good. The bombers are incredible. Incredibly you've amazing. also got the um, the Dark Talon. I went against that mm. once, and I got absolutely Rift Cannon to shreds. <laughs> um, so that was actually, that really took me by surprise. What other planes? I know uh, Ben Jones, shout out to one of our VT coaches, recently done extremely well at a recent GT. Yeah. He was running the Drakari bomber. The Void Raven. Yep. Yeah, very did very well with that. Well. So we'll have to get him on to speak about that. But yeah, I think some of the Admech planes are a real... I don't mind the Marine ones. There's a, a cheeky Storm Talon for the amount of points it is, the amount of damage output Well, we've got two upstairs, mate. You could have put them in. Well, no, well we had the Repulsor. So. Yeah. All good. Yeah. You right there, uh, Eddie? Yeah, we're just getting a, bit of, uh... getting a bit of sunshine coming into shot there. I mean, we can probably get quite a nice little action shot of that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look That's at the sun cool. just beaming in through <laughs> the Factorum. It's giving the light... To mm. the Emperor's finest. That is in the custodian. Oh, yes. <laughs> there we go. Right. Just pinging off that armour. End of the go. End of the go, mate. What have you scored? I'm going to score. Yeah. Three points. 
Yeah. On Stranglehold. Okay, you are, yes. I'm going to score three points on the mission. You are. I'm just going to score four points on Oath. Because I did not retreat, I did not fail morale, I killed a vehicle, and I held the centre. Wow, that is big, mate. Yeah. So we've nice. got a that total is very of big. how many for you then, Jim? So I got three points on hold, three points on the mission, and four points on Oath of Moments. So that should put me on 20 points, including Painted. That's big. That's very good. I only realised the vehicle <laughs> yeah. after I killed the plane. I'm going to have to pull my finger out, because I don't know how I'm going to have to... I don't know if I can catch up. Right, so at the start of my turn, Eddie, I'm going to score a CP, uh, so you can be up to nine. Scoring a CP, yeah, noted. Yep, and then also... Um, I think I'd... you're at eight now, because you spent a CP during... No, remember, take cover, I couldn't use. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, so you are. And then nine. I score ten points for holding two objectives. Nice one. Yeah, thanks, mate. No worries, mate. Thank well you. Done, well done, Steve. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. And obviously I've got one of my rods done. Yes. A bit rodding this um, turn. So... Uh, Iron Stone, it's completely pointless now. It's not in range of anyone because cool. I can't put it. Because basically, I can't put it on the day of day because of the wording of it is the exact same as yeah, his duty. It's a bit of a on. weird one, right? I think we yeah. just say it's yeah. Yeah, it's fairer that way because otherwise we've got a minus two damage day of day running around. Yeah. And um, I don't know how many of you want to see that. If I'm 100% honest. No, no one wants to see that. So the uh, servitor's right here. I'm just head over to Daisy Cam. Got it, got it locked in there, Daisy, on those servitors. They Look are, at that. They are retrieving some Octarius data right they there. They are rodding, some would say. Yeah, they're going to do some rod action right there. I quickly, if anyone's wondered what I just did, I quickly just went to check some stratagems. Okay. I don't use them now, so we'll all right. <laughs> we're just going to uh, cut the sunshine out of the uh, table chat, so we're going to have a little bit of background noise for a hot oh. second, so just to let you know. Oh, okay. I like it. No, you ruined my dreams. <laughs> Uh, right, I'm just going to check some other stratagems as well. We've got... So, if I disembark over here from this unit, from this Torox, uh, I can steal this objective off you, you see? It's the plan. Cool. I'm just checking some, some stratagems, guys, some, some cheeky stratagems. Yeah. <laughs> Basically just checking when I use them. Really, and it, none of them's now, so we're all right. Okay, uh, now I could with this unit rod in this quarter instead if I want to forgo my shooting phase. Because I've got to ask yourself, is it worth it? I think potentially it could be. I don't know what other unit you could get here. Yeah. Equally though, you could always move a vehicle over, use that strat to get out. Yep. And then do that. Yep. Um, might do that. More, might forgo that shooting just phase. Just thought of another stratagem as well. I want to check. Because there's one for Iron Hands, which can increase their feel no pain. All right. I don't know if I do it at the start of my game or when I'm declared as a target. I believe it's when you're declared as a target. But double check it. I'm pretty sure it is as well, Eddie. I'm just... Yeah, it's a, yeah it's a, it is when I'm declared as a target. It's one CP. That's not bad, actually, is it? Good, yeah. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> so, very good. It's tough. I was going to use it over there, and then I thought transhuman was probably a bit better. Why not both, mate? Double down. I could. I could. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me, Eddie. Don't tempt me. <laughs> no, don't, no. Little teaser. <laughs> Can't spend two CP. <laughs> it's not the V team way. <laughs> <laughs> well, my old grudges is... That grudge is gone. There's no more grudge. There's no more grudge. <laughs> that grudge was very firmly... So that could be the maximum. spending a CP for that, then, yeah? What the no? Because I do when, it when the unit's declared. Targeted, yeah. yeah. So I'll That's wait fine. to see what Mr. Makes Box sense. decides to the flex on me. Oh, all the flexes. All mate. the flexes. That's what we like to hear, Steve. What we like to hear. What's all he the flex. doing? Just sort of flying over there, mate. Mm. Going to get me some engage action. And he's the one that's on six wings left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's oh. on six, mate. Nice. It's more so because obviously now I remember my way for a moment. Mm. It's actually worth just sort of peppering the shots into that just line. Pepper them, mate. Just a little bit of the old pepper. Mm -hmm. No salt. Is the chat enjoying the game? Chat, are you enjoying the game? <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> Tell me, personally. <laughs> Tell right. Jake how right much you're enjoying his <laughs> look, performance. Look me in the eyes and tell me if you're enjoying this game. If you do just sort of speak on the screen, though, I may not be able to hear. We're going a bit of... Mmm, I know. Uh, I just want to think about my pivoting. 
So he was there, he can pivot to there, because yeah. then I can pivot 90 and over there. This one came flying over to there. He's flying off the table next turn, basically, if That's he's not dead. Oh, yeah. Then he can come back on next turn. Nice one. Mm. So you should probably drop the kids off. At the pool. Yeah, probably drop the kids off first. Remember, you've obviously got your scions in reserve as well. Yeah. So this is my elite unit with all the plasma. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a big yes on the enjoyment front there, Jake, from the troops. Good. That's what we like to hear. I am Iron Father Ferros, and you are all my intercessors. <laughs> my family of intercessors. Shame this unit's not troops, because I probably could have stole that objective off you. Yeah, Phoebe yeah. says, uh, Phoebe Coward says that she's enjoying your face, Jake. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, oh, who doesn't enjoy Jake's face? Oh. Right, should we get a, a close-up of Jake's face? Yeah. For the chat? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so good looking. Most handsome man in Warhammer once, I was once called. They BT has a lot. They were blind. We gained but... a lot <laughs> from having Jake. People stay for the tactics. They come for the they tactics. Come, they, they come for, for the Jake. tactics and stay for... for <laughs> they come for Jake, stay for the <laughs> tactics. <laughs> Jake's the head. Yeah. So... You see I'm, more of this mug. <laughs> I'm, actually every tempt, Tuesday. I'm actually tempted to rod. I'm going to spend a CP so these guys can get out outside of five. Right. And I'm actually tempted to rod with one of these units. So one of the plasma units is going to rod? Yeah. Old move con. Because... It just means that this 10-man unit can just rapid fire into yeah, there. Because obviously this this vehicle is about to shimmy on yeah. backwards. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'd be, mate. Yeah, You're happy with your rod? I'm going to rod in that corner because that's going to be the You're hardest happy. one to get. Yeah. Everyone happy? Everyone's All the kids are off the your ball? second rod? That, yeah, my second rod is going to happen nice in that one. corner. So it's Servitors, not, not rodding the yet. The thing is, they're probably the safest rod. So yeah. You might as well leave them till last. I agree with you, mate. 100%. That's why, that's why we work well. I agree with you, you agree with me. There's a lot of agreeing going on. No arguments here. So this unit's going to disembark from this Torox and just bang ten models straight onto this objective. And that denies me that objective. Yep. It's very sad. Yep. Sure does, mate. Sure does. I'm a bit nervous. Yeah? For, for, my, for the inc incurring shooting phases, potentially, man. Yeah. So ten models are going straight on there. Because how many models have you got on there? I've I have not got even ten models in that unit. All oh, right. So, okay. 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 So we're all white there. Yeah, we've got a couple of people in the in the chat saying, "Why aren't there more tanks in your Iron Hands list? What's going on? Are you uh are you really leaning into F Iron Father there? Are we?" So, the list theme is Ferros and his many family members. Um, but the real reason is just because we we don't. This is pretty much what's painted. It's a lot of infantry. Yeah. Um, we've got three repulsors, um, but after what happened with the first one, not too sure if I want to use three. Um, no, like, I definitely want some more dreads in this army if we were going to go with the Iron Hands theme. But obviously the thing that we've all got to remember is that this isn't just an Iron Hands army. This is an army for every chapter. And intercessors work for everything. <laughs> so. The workhorse. The, the workhorses. I love. We should I do like a car advert for intercessors, like a you know just a really you know sexy it up, get, get some nice close up macro shots of them. The intercessor. <laughs> compare the intercessor dot com. Your comfortable drive. <laughs> the priest is going to advance. I think also the other thing as well with why I haven't got as many vehicles to take away from sort of a bit more of a narrative side is that obviously if, if we all remember about a year and a half ago now mm -hmm. there was a list that was running absolute manic in forty k. It was in eighth edition. Uh, which was basically Iron Father Ferros his, and his mates, which is just a ton of intercessors. And his merry men. And his merry men. Um, and I, I wanted to s see if it can still do something, really. Yeah. Obviously, a bit varied with all the points and you know new sort of units coming in. Yeah, I want to see if it does anything. I mean, it does usually go well, I'm sure, if you don't have a repulsor blow up in your face. Yeah, that was a bit... That was a bit, a bit harsh, wasn't it? That was a bit harsh. Went mate. nuclear, didn't it? It literally went off. <laughs> cool. I'm happy with that, I think. It went as mental as me at Wembley when we scored first. Just give it, give it a rest with this Wembley oh, chat, alright? It was right? amazing, though. Well, my name's Jake and I went to Wembley. It was incredible. It was incredible for exactly 63 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then it all went wrong. And then I started crying. Yeah. <laughs> and it all went wrong.
And it's not going to go wrong here, is it, Steve? No, it's absolutely not. It's all going to go right. Oh, coming it's home. all going to go right. Um, do I want to bring any more lads in? Obviously, you got your reserve, guys. They've got to come in next go. Obviously, yeah. I could be shooting a little wall spec scan out there, though. Oh, yeah, you could. Mm. But not this unit, because they're currently in, um, no. they're currently in combat. So and they are, They're only in curses, so you can come in within nine. Within nine. Look yeah. at them. Look at the cheek of them. And the cheek. The audacity. Right tucked up in the corner there. Look at that. Yeah. Bang them on there, you know. Give me a good rod for later. Saving saving yeah. a rod. You're preparing your rod, Steve. Yep. Not always. Because um, I've got this locked in. Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm getting on that anytime in soon. In fact, I can just pop my character just on there as well. Um, then this guy can just fall back to their slight bit of shuffle. Bit of shuffle, my Do you want to pop go. it on the Robbie cam, Eddie, so we can see a lovely little shot of these, these little goobers? I want to bring my other unit in, you know, put a bit of pressure on. There they are, guys. Look at them in the corner there. Look at them. Majestic. Oh, look at that. <laughs> a double win for the chat. A double, a double win for the chat. Some Jake action. And the chat goes miles. I'll leave the next <laughs> unit off, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Here we go. I'm right, ready for this. I'm assuming you're going to move straight with it. I want to stay in combat, mate. Oh, are you? Uh, no, because <laughs> You can't shoot me. Yeah, true. This is the ultimatum. Do you think that will kill me or do you think that will kill me? Well, he ain't going to kill you, so, yeah, I need to fold this back, don't yeah. I? Just uh, like that. There we go. Done. Lovely. Oh, shit. Did you just swear? <laughs> hey, sorry. Wow. You just said the S word, everybody. You just said oh. sugar. <laughs> yeah, said I know. Sugar. I asked if anyone has ever said sugar on stream, and um, hey. yeah, it's a no. So. There we go. That has now been broken. Yep. Yeah. Right, here we go, then. We stay with her. <laughs> it's a long here day. Shooting phase. Shooting phase, shooting phase, shooting phase. I'm going to start off with. I want to kill this unit. Oh god! And this unit. That's the. That's the goal. That's the bare minimum. This guy. That's what I want to get rid of. Yeah. So we're going to open up first of all with this unit right here. Okay. Yeah, they're going to go first into this unit. Any strats? Uh, no, and they're not within rapid fire range because they came down nine. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so they're just going to get ten shots. Because I'm oh. not going to get rapid fire. Oh, right. Right. What's their range? Uh, well, their range is 18. Oh, right. I've got to be over. Oh. Wow. You mean, I remember in previous edition where they used to die on one, so we're quite right there. They better not die on ones. <laughs> oh, um, one. Two, s just the one save, just yeah. One. I'll take the one on cover. Okay. Go through. Oh. Uh, just the one damage, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a bit unfortunate. Right, I'll go with that next unit right there, because they are in rapid fire this is range. This where some stratagems could be used. Here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have a look um, at that claw chat. Uh, Jake's claw on the edge of the table, it's a, next to that beautiful a, shot from Daisy Cam. <laughs> we're, we're very, we're a bit nervous. <laughs> I'm going to spend a CP to get plus one to. Uh, no, sixes are going to do more wounds. Oh god. Yeah, like looking for five, sixes do mortal wounds. Yeah. No. Come on, roll. My, I'm due a load of sixes here. Oh. That's oh. three mortal wounds. Oh, no. And, and then a normal wound. It might just be, it might be instead of. Uh, according uh, to yes. the chat, Jake, um, you're oh. in trouble. I am in trouble. An attack sequence ends. So, oh, so just, just three ones, mortals. Three mortals and one save. So one, oh, all right, and then three mortals. So two die because one was on one. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Oh, no. Then that one. Then this guy here is going to put all of his shots. Do He's I need just to? got las cannons and rockets, doesn't he? You've gone for stranglehold, haven't you? Yeah, I need yeah, to get rid of this unit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So is t is basically yeah, everything's going into there. Last cannon. I'm pretty sure they're dead. Misses. Oh, right. Rocket. Is oh, it just one rocket? I'm bracketed now. On, I'm on sixes, aren't I? Uh, sixes? I'm hit. Yeah, you're on six wings, so you're taking however many. So when do I bracket? I bracket at Valkyries. Hitting on fives now. So I missed with that. Then the heavy bolters. 
It's got two of those, so six shots. Some heavy bolters. Two hits from those. Not no. One not wound. So I'll take it on the one in cover? Yep. He's all right. He's okay. Cool. Uh, the next one will do exactly the same. This one's hitting on fours, into though. Into that one. That one is Into that, that unit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So rocket. Uh, yeah, rocket. Rocket. Hits. hits. Wounds. Wounds. Uh, minus. Two. So in cover. All good. Wow, well, last cannon. Misses. Okay. Uh, and then heavy bolters. Two hits. Two wounds. So in cover, so first one. He's, he's dead. He's dead. Does he survive? No. Then one out of cover. He's all right. Uh, yes. One, yes, correct. There we go. Oh, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? You've got two guys left right there. You've, you've got the objective off me, at least. I do, but I wanted to get but rid you of need, it. Yeah. You did have a bit of a whiffer there, Steve, though. Yeah, it could have gone a bit better, that, yeah, couldn't it? Yeah, could. could have gone a bit better. Anyway, that's how, that's how it is. This unit here, we're going to shoot that unit right there. Just ten shots. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten shots on this unit at the back into your unit of intercessors right there, okay? So I'm going to spend one CP on them. Yeah. Give them a five plus if you want no pain. Okay. So I, do I get the CP back quickly? No. Do I steal yours? No, I don't. No. So I'm down to six CP, everyone. A bit worried. <laughs> uh, two saves. So minus... Uh, minus three. So six up, one failed, five plus. Oh, <laughs> clutch. Yeah, that actually worked out really well because I've got a cool strat. If I kill a model, I can get a plus one to wound. But didn't kill a model. No, didn't kill a model. This guy here now is going to shoot you as well, the yeah. Torox. Uh, so his uh, battle cannon. Three shots. Oh, no. oh yeah, because I'm. Oh. Uh, two hits. One. One wound. Minus. One, uh, two. More Loved it. And then it's got his auto cannon, which I think is two shots. One wound, oh minus mate. two. Loves it. <laughs> Stop it, Jake. <laughs> Stop rolling sixes. Okay. Oh no. How many CPs have I got left? I've spent two this turn. Yeah. So I'm down to seven, seven, yeah? Yeah, seven. Six, eight, ten. Are you thinking plus one strengths? Do you want some dice? Yeah, I'm thinking some oh. plus one strength action, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Going to go for it. One CP. So. I was going to spend that and then the plus one to wound as well. Yeah, I so see, then you're weaning me on three, so just, just the fours. Oh, no. No, that's cocked. And then I re-roll ones because of my Warlord trait. Okay. Oh, oh no. one there. Oh, into a two. And then a lot of fours. Hits. These are minus three. Yeah, mate. I'll just roll that. They're hot shots. There's lots of sixes in there. Let's take three, uh, reiterate that. So sixes, three. Yep. And then fives. Just one damage each. So fives. Two, so one, two, three, and a half. Three and a half, okay. So. <laughs> the ball grins are blocked, aren't they? I'm charging. Yeah. Cool, so I'll just take. Currently they are, yeah. I'll just take that. All right. Then we're going to put one plasma one. guns. That's this squad. The first unit of plasma are going to shoot into the unit on your objective, okay? So they're within 12. I'm thinking, I'm going to transhuman them. Okay. So another one CP. Do I get it back? No. Do I, oh, steal, no. do I steal yours? No. It's two CP. <laughs> no, okay. Because I'm in a unit over. So I'm only down to four CP now. Okay. That's not ideal. Here we go then. You didn't get one back there either, did you, Steve? No, I didn't no. steal it, no. So Sad this is the unit on the objective. I'm overcharging Ovs. Lost a dude. That's right. Um, <laughs> Small price to pay. <laughs> yep. So Fours. Four. Saves. Minus three, three, isn't it, Plasma? Yeah, so five up because I'm in cover. Yep. Three fail, and then two damage each. Yep. So what I'll do: first one dead, second one dead, third one dead. So cool. Three die. Steve, then, the uh, chat was just mentioning about the Torox battle cannon being blast. Did you get your minimum shots? I did. Good. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, chat. Then the next un next unit is going to do exactly the same. No ones that time. Uh, two oh, more saves. Bad. 
So, are they, they overcharge as well? Yep. Cool. So, fives, they fail. So, first one is okay and then dies. So, one dies. And I lost a dude. You lost a dude again. Yep. That's that one. Cool. Right. Very nice. It's consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I could have gone a bit better that turn, but we'll see if I can make up for it. So, this unit of scions here yeah. are going to charge you. Charge. Um, Hang on a second, what do I need there? I'm within seven, so I need a six with a ball grin. Just because I think that unit's going to die. I'll spend, I'll spend, I'll overwatch. Okay. But I'll also spend another CP mm -hmm. that allows me to overwatch on fours. Wow. So, that is a strong move. So do I get them back? Yeah. Oh, I get one back. So I only spent one. And I steal yours as well. <laughs> oh, no, finally. It had to happen once, didn't yeah. it? So how many guys are there? Five, so three, so. 15 shots, so it should be 7 hits, right? Yeah. That puts you up to 7, Steve, and uh, Jake, you're on 3 left now, CP. I think you're right. Well. Is that 7? That's 8. Oh, wow. One better than average. One How better. dare you? <laughs> and then freeze. Freeze, yep. 5. No Five. minus. Cool. Oh, no, there is a minus 1, because we're now in the tactical doctrine. Well, that's 5 dead, then. Minus 1. Cool. Just to, because they're going to die, this guy, <laughs> if the ball grins. Ham hand them. Okay. Right. Then their charge. Eight. Yep. Just gonna put one within an inch. Yeah. And it, more just doing this so it clears the way. Yep. For the ball grins. And then the Ogrins charge. They're in on yeah, a six because we said they're within seven. Yeah. So I don't even need to re-roll that. Now they should be on slightly smaller bases, okay? So I should be able to get two in there. Yeah, that's fine, no problem. All right. We've just got the cool forge world one. Yeah, we've got the cool forge world one. Well, if I put that guy like that, he can get within half an inch of half an inch. He's on a different base altogether for some reason. Half an inch of half an inch. So I'll be able to get three that can swing, okay? Yeah, no problem. I'm pretty sure this unit may be ironed out. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Flying under the radar there, Jake. I like it. I do try. I'm going to keep one model within six of my priest. Oh, no. To then that get plus attacks. one attacks, yeah, per Bulgrin. Oh, no. Any charges here? Well, no, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> nearly, mate. Nearly a cheeky little bait there. Thank you, mate. Just, uh, yeah, then come on in. <laughs> come, on in. come into the So party. I get four for Sarge. The water's fine. And then he gets an extra attack because of priest. Then I get two other dudes. Oh, I can pile in, I suppose, and can't I? So stat wise, yeah. What are what are they at the moment? Uh, there are a lot of attacks. I don't think I can get any more though, unfortunately. But if I want to keep an extra attack, so there's only be three that can yeah. swing. One, two, and and what's the damage three. and such on this? Uh, the damage and such is going to be so like strength. Uh, their strength, Bulgrins. Uh, strength seven. Minus one, two damage. Cool. So, I really want at least one survive there, because then that can get me an oath. So I'm going to spend two CP again okay. to get to transhuman myself. Why would it give you an oath? Because if, if I still have them at the end of my game, I'll yeah. have one within six, or like a unit, so I can retreat them back. You've still got a turn yet? It's the end of the back round. Oh, yeah. I'll, what I'll do, yep. I'll just spend two. Okay. Or, oh, sorry, sorry, just spend one for transhuman. I won't okay. spend the other for five up in five up for no pain. It's totally up to you, obviously, but yeah, I, I just, I think they're like, because I, I know what you're saying. Because you're gonna lose some for morale yeah, as well. Potentially. To roll, see if you get it back. You already I've got already one. got one yeah. back. Yeah, you have. Um, it's more so just that what it does is that if I can survive here, yep. I can potentially kill some of them off. Yeah. Get opposite and get stranglehold. So I'll just spend the one for transhuman. See what happens. So we are force. Oh, oh no, yeah. that is a whiffer. That's a whiffington. That is a big whiffer right there. Only three. And it's minus one, isn't it? Minus one. One fail. One fail, two damage. One was already on one wound. Please, now oh, dead. If I did the five up, he would have lived. Um, okay. Well, that's not gone to plan, that, actually. No. That's actually a real big whiff. Hmm. Now, I could interrupt and hit the Scions. I'm, there's no point. So no. I'll just, I'd rather use this, keep the TCP for a potential yep. morale. Uh, consolidate, I'm not going to bother. Cool. Cool. Do you want to hit with a scion? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, only one can swing anyway. Uh, so he's going to get two attacks. Oh. Being a sergeant. Nice. 
Uh, we'll say it's one. He's missed. He's, cool. Yeah, okay. So they'll hit him back. So okay. Piling. Yep. They'll all hit that one scion. Uh, you won't be able to move away from that model because oh, I've faced he'll you. He'll be there. So you probably get... So two on the Ogryn, two on the scions. Sounds good. Cool. So on the Ogryns... Yep. And... No. <laughs> no wounds. <laughs> on the scions. Yep. Two. No two minus. wounds. Four ups. Oh, two oh, dead. Dear. Oh dear. I'll pull the guy out of combat. Yeah. Uh, and that, get rid of that guy there. So you've got four models and obsec. Yeah. And I've got three models here. I need a morale check. You need a morale yeah. check. So I've lost. I had eight at the start of that go. So I've lost four. <coughs> I'm leadership eight. So. So as I get to do the, as it's my turn, yeah, you get to do morale. You can do morale first. Oh yeah. Oh, you picked, don't you? So, is, do I play the safe play of just spending two CP? And these guys need a morale check as well, don't they? Yeah. It's who I spend the TCP on. Mm. Here's less likely to fail, because I've lost three in the leadership eight. Yeah. There, I've lost four in the leadership eight. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's a, it's either a 50-50 there, mm -hmm. or I'm tempted to spend the TCP there and roll this one. Okay. So Go with the maths. Yeah. So blow all my CP. They're fine. Okay. We're all good. Um, now, do I do exactly the same? I've lost seven this turn. Uh, so I'm basically... I can't afford to lose this because no. otherwise I'm giving you. I've done. I've worked really, really hard here to basically take more models a few yeah. of that objective. You're forcing me now to have to deal with these yeah. as well. So, um, I what? Yeah, what I'm going to do there is basically I'm going to spend two CPs as well. Go another five. Awesome. And that oh, I need a morale passes. check in the corner as well. Actually, I'm all right. I rolled a one. Hang on a second. There might be a cheaper one that I've got for. Um, Oh, you have a, you do have a strat which is you can half the amount of casualties you've taken for the purpose. So you just out. roll a D three. Oh, no, of that's D6. it. You roll a D three instead of a D six. Yeah, basically, I, yeah. No, I can spend one CP and auto pass it because I'm within oh. twelve inches of a Tempest of Prime. Oh, so, so there's one CP. Yeah. So same result, but just same less result, CP. but I push you down to six. Put you down to six. Nice yeah. One. Very nice. Cool. Okay, mate. Nice. So the start my go. I'm going to get fifteen points. You get fifteen points. Oh no, I know. No, you, you get that. I only get ten points. You only get five, mate. Because you don't even hold this one. I've got, you've got three, I've got four obsec models. Yeah, but I've got more models. Oh, right. So oh, once we both we have had obsec. This the other yeah. day. So you only get five the, points on the, the primary. Mate, it's not much. Yeah. Right, cool. Um, yeah, I only get five, that is a shame. Mm -hmm. But hopefully, I need to try and hit back on those secondaries. And I've got two rods, yeah? And I've got three points on engage, mate, and I've got three points on my mission. So I'm going to put the plus one yeah. to hit on the Derrida. Cool. Again. I'll just do all the healing and stuff now, because they're not. So heal Pharos full. Yeah. Heal Reaver Lieutenant full. Right. Well, are these Tempestalists, you know? It's a bit cheeky, mate. Mm. It's a bit cheeky. And I actually think Dice could have gone a little bit better that turn. You definitely should have killed the Bulgrim within the a bit, yeah. The Bulgrim's with within. Because it wasn't even transhuman, it was just no. a bad one. Ones roll. and twos, yeah. Um, no, I've got to retreat out here. Oh. That's your oath, then. It is. My, it's one of the oaths. Yeah. But one it, of the oaths. what it does is just guarantees me having a unit within six inches of the centre. I like it, yeah. So, it's, as I said, it was two CPs for for two VPs. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah. Cool. And then I've just got to deal with this. <laughs> While you're dealing with that, we've got a super chat. Oh. Very nice. So. I'm glad people are enjoying the game. Yeah, it seems like the chat's having fun. People, guys, let us know. Are you enjoying the new streaming quality with all the extra cameras and... Obviously, like a massive thanks to Robbie and Daisy for giving up their evenings to help us with the camera stuff. So, I mean, also Eddie, obviously. But That's what heroes are made of. Yeah, massive thank you to obviously the entire team. So let, let us know if you appreciate the extra cameras, the action cams. If not, then I can give Robbie and Daisy the evenings off. But uh, yeah, let us know what you think. It's appreciated, and also give the video a like. That's the yeah, any uh, any likes and thumbs up are all good. Chat, we keep the love coming. Um, we've got the super chat from Highs Rosenheim again. Uh, 20 euros this time so what are the next armies you consider taking to a tournament what do you think of Ulthway two detachments Eldrad Farseer on uh, J I'm thinking jet bike jet bike yeah yep. might be just a J uh, just a J he's just running big J around um, two spirits um, 45 guard 15 Dar Avengers five Wraith uh, Wraith I think they're the big chaps aren't they uh, Shining Spears and then we've got some Reapers. Um, 
with the heavy weapons and the falcon and a serpent. Yeah, I mean, I think... So I used... Uh, I actually played on the Deployment Zone channel on Saturday uh, for their uh, paid-for service. And you can sign up for a week's trial if you want to catch that live stream back. But I did use Eldar then. Um, I used a very combat-heavy Eldar list. You did. Went up against Bromley's Ultramarines. We had a very, very it close was, game, didn't it we? It literally came down to the last turn. Roll of the game. Yeah. yeah. It was so, it was so mad. tight. Um, but I had a mixture of very combat heavy, um, I had some Wraith Blades in there, two units of five Wraith Blades. Uh, we used Eldar in here as well, not too long ago. Versus my Necrons. Yep. Yeah. And that was a really good game as well. So you can check out that list. Uh, but I think three units of three Dark Reapers or the Tempestor launchers, they're really good. Uh, some Night Spinners now, again, with all those Rangers. Fire Dragons. Fire Dragons. I know Ben uh, Jones, again, played that GT. He took some Dark Reapers and some Night Spinners, got them really well with that mm -hmm. against Rangers. I think he picked up 40 Rangers one turn <laughs> just through indirect fire. Yeah, it's really nice. It's what you need at the moment, though, isn't it? The Shining Spears are great with their double move. Yeah. Um, again, with so much Shuriken and then the ability to charge, they will hit a unit extremely hard and then charge another and do extremely good damage there. And then you're forcing the that opponent to use the combat attrition on one unit and the other unit should die. Um, so again, I think, yes, yeah, a big unit of block, a shine of spears, a couple of units of five wraith blades, and then, um, you know, maybe the odd unit of uh, fire dragons I really like, firing, fading into a wave serpent, and that's your heavy hitting unit in the center um, from that close range, and they can advance and still shoot without penalties, they can move 3d6 and pick the highest, so that's good, firing, fading back into the wave serpent, three units of dark reapers at the back. It's very solid. Chucking in some indirect it's firepower, um, and then just chucking a good old... Um, you know, Farseer, Skyrunner, Warlock, Skyrunner, and then an Autark, probably. That'd be my three. Yeah. I like that. And then some four units of Dire Avengers just to do the actions a bit obsec. That's why I'd, that's why I'd be leaning towards for Eldar. That's what you're... But for me, for a, what would I take to a tournament? It would be, uh, at the moment, I'm really enjoying my uh, Adepta Sororitas with my Dog Martyr. The Dog Martyr. Uh, with the chat wants to know how you got on on Saturday. How did I get on on Saturday? Yeah. Um... I think it's a bit of a spoiler, though. <laughs> you tell it, Jake. I mean, Liam asked, so... Steve put up a tough fight. But, ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Box lost That's it. to Brom yeah. from de Deployment Zone TV. You don't need to sound so shocked. Well... It was a good game. It was a really, really, really great game. Yeah, me really and Brom had a great time, didn't we? Yeah, I, I had a great time as well. Yeah. Me and Liam on the deck. Mm -hmm. so, so if you want to see me lose <laughs> on stream, on stream, and some <laughs> horrendous chat, it's not uh, child friendly, by the way, on the deployment. No, zone. it is. You got asked some questions that literally had you in tears. I was crying. Yeah, <laughs> it was a really good fun stream. So yeah, yeah check it out, deployment zone. They got a free week trial. Check it out. A free week, not three weeks yeah. trial. One week of trial. Free. Yes. Check it out. And if you want to see Steve cry on the stream, out of context. I mean, everyone <laughs> wants to see Steve cry. Yeah, it was a great game. It was hilarious. So, Liam, thanks for having yeah. us, yeah. If you want Steve to cry, just go him to roll dice. It is going to be a, a regular occurrence, though. Yeah, it is. Every month. We're, Every month. We're on the deployment channel, yeah. Mm. Deployment zone. It sounds good, guys. DZVT. DZVT. -D -D. VTDZ. That's what we're going for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. What are you doing? I'll go here? over my movement phase. Yeah. Moved up here. Shuffled. Need to kill them off. The, so the, in, the incursors the incursors shuffled. shuffled. So they're right in front of the Scions in this yeah. objective. Basically, the goal is need to kill them off. Yeah. I brought back a intercessor from yeah. this unit. So one of the units is back to 10 man. Okay. And just swung them around just so then there's no shenanigans going on here. Yeah. Then I've got the unit of four obviously retreated. Have you left your objective? No, I've got it. I've moved the unit of six round on oh, the Oh, I like it. Okay. Basically, what I'm hoping for this turn... Is Robbie Cam on that one at the moment? That unit right there? This this right Get here. that action is what we want. I want to then... shoot... This unit wants to shoot that off. This unit wants to shoot that off. Derrideo's in on it as well. Okay. And then I've got... I've moved the incessors up here. Mm -hmm. They can't heroically intervene the Baldwin's, can they? No. Okay, cool. It, it was basically so then they can shoot the Scions off there. Because I've still got one intercessor on that objective. On that objective. Bold move, Cotton. It's a bold move. Let's see if it pays off, though. Oh, and then obviously um, the Chief Apothecary healed both the Reaver left head and, and the and Feros back to full wings. So basically your explosion no longer mattered. Well, I don't know about that, Steve. We, there's a banner bearer over there that makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shoot him. I'm glad the banner's gone because I got sick of him shooting me in death. <laughs> All right, then. Cool. So we're going to... So I don't use the strat for every six I roll to wound is double until I go to the model to do it. Okay. So I'm going to start with these into here. Okay. So 
Four shots. Yep. Three hits. Yep. No wounds. No wounds, that's, actually. That's a bit big. Yep. Um, then we've got this unit of... Ten. Eight. Eight. Eight intercessors left, yep. No, nine intercessors left. Yep. No, eight, because this one's part of that unit. Yep. Uh, into the Scions. This is all minus one. Ooh. AP minus one. Okay, go on then. Three. Shall I just pick them up? Yeah, yeah I'll pick them up. Yeah. I've only got a four plus save, and I'm not nice. going to use the strap for take um, cover. No, hey, that's fine. Okay. Um, now what we want is basically I want to try and get an oath of moment here. Because obviously I can try because I'm losing one from retreating there. So I want to yep. try and get one here. You want to get that vehicle yeah. off, yeah. So I am going to spend the strap okay. from the Derrideo. Yep. So then he get every six he rolls to wound is two wounds. Okay. But he will put his top hat into the scions here. Ooh. Gonna give that a go. So Derrideo. Would be twos to hit, but minus one, so threes to hit. Okay. No yep. re-rolls, sadly. No re-rolls. I really like the Warlord trait where you can pick a unit and give it a re-roll, a hit, re-roll, a wound, and re-roll a damage. Yeah. I really like that. It's good. Yeah. There's a few tricks in here. I yeah. was tempted to make him a character to do that, but because he's 11 wounds, he wouldn't have been able to hide. Yeah. We can give him exploding sixes and stuff, yeah. Yeah. Uh, freeze. So that's five wounds. Yep. But obviously, because I've rolled a six, it's six wounds at minus two. Easier. Got this. Five ups. Five ups. No, he's dead. Oh, uh, no, six damage. Exactly six wounds left. Yeah. So he is dead. dead. Does he explode? No. That's all right. That is a Valkyrie gone. That is a Valkyrie gone. Big swing there, boys. Save. We've got a little su super chat that I'm just going to slip in here from oh, Ginger Steve. Um, £2.99. Cheers, Ginger Steve. Um, if you want to make Jake cry, just call him Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> wow. Really? Mate. Shots fired. I'm, you're not the first and you know it won't be the last. <laughs> wow. I've got an iron soul. You have, mate. For my iron hands. Grinnerberry. What you didn't see, actually, this is all Photoshop, so Steve basically just went... <laughs> like his pet dog, like from Legend. I am Legend, right. Into there, so... Uh, it's Blast with 3D3. I'm not going to lie, Jake, that dog is a lot cooler than you. Steve. I'll speak, I'll speak about it after. Um, twos to hit. You can run on a treadmill and everything. Yeah, and the dog doesn't well, I can say run on a treadmill. Well, I, I can go on you a treadmill. You can't even run without falling over and breaking your arm. <laughs> that is true, to be fair. Oh, also, we're out the thing, by the way, so we're all good. Three at minus one into those. <laughs> uh, two dead. Cool. Nice. And then I right, have to try and charge them to kill them. Yeah. Okay. Good. Or unless I shoot some intercessors at them. No, we won't worry about that. <laughs> uh, Ferros yeah. is going to shoot yeah. his heavy bolter yeah. into this, this unit of three. Oh, no, you can't see those. This unit of four. Okay. Scions. Two used to hit. Very nice. Hits them all. Three to wound. Yeah, very nice. Two minus one. Two dead. Four twos minus two. Some yep. beautiful action shots from the cameras here, guys. Just putting the work in. Dead. And then all the characters will yeah. also put their shots into them. Okay. Into that same unit. Yeah, two, yeah. Two more wounds. No minus. Oh, no minus one because we're in tactical Ugh. doctrine. Of course it would have to be, wouldn't it? We've taken the Devastated Doctrine army and we're playing it in the. <laughs> in the wrong phase. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just the Jake way. Um, and then, right, and then all of these intercessors will shoot this unit of four. Pick them up. Cool. Yeah. And then this unit of six will shoot them as well. You can probably pick them Steve up. Steve loves it. Pick them up. Pick them up. up. Steve doesn't up. like rolling dice. No, we don't do. doing weight, so the whole, whole stream. Pick we don't do. Up. Pick them up. It's fine. They've done their job. They got the rod and they took some intercessors down with them. Yeah. We're going to charge. You're going to charge me. Yeah. Okay, do you want to overwatch? Nah. Ooh, nah. Carry on. Big 11. Big 11, they're in. Okay. Cool. Cool. Same. Is that it? No more charges. You don't want to charge from Bulgrin? You can't heroically intervene. Can you? Nah. That's no point. Cool. So, into there. Yep. Freeze to hit. Two misses. That's a nice roll. Uh, two wounds. Minus nothing. Two dead. No. Now, that is gutting. <laughs> yep. It's still, they, that means they're still there. So well, I got a morale check to make, but... Yeah. Um, You've lost I'll, four? Two... Four, five, six, seven attacks. Nice. Five, six, seven. Hitting on fours, probably. Wounding on fives. Just the one wound, actually. Oh, he it's fails a, it. It's a wound. Oh, he fails Ooh, it. Ooh, he didn't like that. Didn't like that. Didn't like that one, do I? Didn't like that. And they're just going to consolidate onto that objective. Yeah. Real nice, like that. Beautiful. Okay, so they are going to need a morale check there. Yeah. They've lost three. Uh, one, two, two, three, four, five, six. They've lost four. Um, I'll roll it. Five. So fail. Oh damn. <laughs> oh no. Good roll. So one dies. 
Oh, oh Steve dear. only rolls high in morale checks, <laughs> just to let you know. And, and how many dice? At least he's consistent. I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not below half though, so it's only no, you're, you're exactly half. Only ones. Oh, just oh. a one. Just a one, one actually. So I'm all right. I'm all right. I've just got away. There. there was a lot of a better play this game where basically I should have just put some of the shots into there, some of the shots into there. Yeah. But we move. Yeah. So end of the go. Oh, I oh know. I was going to charge over there, but there's no one there. Um, so I get three points on. Um, oh no, I don't. The mission on the mission. Yeah. And I get three points on oath yes. because I killed a vehicle. Yeah. But and you did fall back. But I did fall back yeah. and I hold the centre. Yeah. That will put me on seven on oath, six on the mission, three on hold. Okay, very nice. Or three on um, stranglehold. Okay, cool. Your turn three, mate. Right, so I hold one, two, three objectives. Mm. Big 15, Big 15 for the box. The box 15, he's got it again. <laughs> We're not, we don't like that. <laughs> and then, oh, that's a six. Okay, so another, so 15 on here. I'm loving it. And I get a CP. And you do get a CP. Did you spend any CPs that turn? Oh, I spent I spent uh, one CP that I turn. I got it back though, didn't I, yeah. already, so. Um, what? I, I'm just going to stay in Tactical Doctrine. Okay, mate, you so, treat yourself. So does that mean you're on zero CP again, Jake? I'm on zero CP again. No overwatching for And for Mr. Stephen, Jake. you just got one back. So you're on seven, I believe? Um, Double check that. That is correct. Yes, I'm on seven. Okay. Mm, well, these guys can't even see anything. They can make a run. So they're just going to move over here. Ready. They're going to rod. Because oh. I haven't done this quarter yet, have I? No, you haven't. You've done that quarter and yeah. that quarter. So I'm going to rod here and just get the cover. Basically. You know, Dennis rod. Yeah. But what that basically guarantees mm -hmm. is you getting four mount on the rod. Mm -hmm. So just to update you guys on the scores, we're currently at 31 to Jake with the Iron Hands and 51 to Stephen with the Scions. Cheeky this unit's going to fall back and yep. just stay outside of an inch of you, but keep four models on that objective. Yeah, so you, you're getting that. I'm getting if it. If they survive. I'm getting if it. They, if they survive. <laughs> I'm getting it. You're getting it. I'm getting it. Getting it good. Um, yeah, I'm getting it. Oh, and the other th main thing as well with the movement, everybody's within six inches for Ferox's yeah. uh, invulnerable save aura. And then my Valkyrie is going to go into hover mode. Yeah. So you don't have to fly off the table. So I don't have to fly off the table. So you're I'm really... lies, Well, I realised <laughs> I could hover. Yeah. It's very rare you see them now. Yeah. And then that means I can basically just move willy-nilly, doesn't it? Mm. Again, all that willy-nilly. I'm not getting my minus one to hit unless I spend a CP to keep it, which I might do, because minus one to hit is nice. Yeah, it basically counteracts Veros's plus, plus one. one to hit. But I think if you want him dead, you, you have him dead I'll anyway. I'll spend it the CP to make sure he dies. Then. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I've got some in my eye. Oh. It's probably a bit of rust from this table. It's all the, it's all the shrapnel. Mm. Yeah, the orange on the table is actually just uh, skin shavings from my face. Um, <laughs> my big orange on <laughs> face. This table is like, Steve's just like, God, I wish I could be that orange right now. Choo choo. Oh, Drox Is there a in? unit in there? What? Is there a unit in there? No, they're all empty. Cool. They're all empty, mate. They're coming at me. They're coming at you, yeah. Um, now you can't actually see this little dude, so he's kind of just chilling on he the can objective. Just Stephen, yeah, the the, uh, the chat is very focused on your rod right now. Uh, they want oh, to yeah. know what's going on with it. They like the rod. <laughs> yeah, Check out the DZ <laughs> TV for more. <laughs> well, you've got to be really careful about your rod because otherwise, if you don't rod correctly, then um, something happens. You're just not going to get your points, are you? We know what points mean. Points mean prizes. They do. And what prizes do we get? Um, so what I'm, what I'm doing here, guys, a little bit of a technique for you. Uh, because this is guys kind of out in the open, mm. I, don't, I don't want to put a unit there because if you shoot me off it, I'm in trouble. So what I'm doing is I'm just keeping this model within three of him. And because this model's behind a wall getting the obscuring, he can just basically put his butt out within three so you can't shoot him. And I'm doing the same over here as well. All That's right? a cheeky little technique there, mate. Cheeky little tactic. Yeah, so what they basically means is I'm not touching that character. No, you're not touching it. Um, and then this character can just move over to there. Um, I'm not sure why I'm doing that, but I'm just going for it anyway. feels like the right move. It feels right. It feels Sometimes you just got to do it. Or actually, what I could do is, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to advance. He was there, wasn't he? Yeah. He's going to advance. Big four. Yep. Yeah, to get onto the other objective. It's a double stack, yeah. And then the priest is going to advance. Oh, 
four, basically and then trading to, places. And then to give me plus one attack over here. Oh, yeah, nice. You're planning something there. Yeah, gonna Ooh. plan a charge. Ooh. This time I'm gonna hopefully do more than just because you've got this unit on the objective, haven't you? Yeah, so I've got a unit of four on the objective. Yeah, and then nice. I've got a unit of eight. Yeah, a unit of eight on not on the objective. Okay, cool. And I've got a unit in reserve still. My last unit. They have to come on this turn, don't they? They do, otherwise they <laughs> perish. They'll be lost to the void. They'll be yeah. lost to the void. Oh, they did. They're dead. Have you zoned me out over here or not? I don't think I was able to, mate. Yeah. So you can go all this bit here, pretty much nothing. Oh, actually. Oh, no, yeah, you can get that. Yeah. yeah. I don't have any CP to all spec scan, so you go nuts, mate. Ooh, treat yourself. <laughs> Very nice, actually, that. Problem is, you then just shoot me off it. And I don't really have the quality firepower to do what I want. You play it safe, bring it. Yeah, I could play it safe over here, actually. Yeah, because then you can just shoot them off. I do need them gone. Yeah. Yeah, might just play it safe and bring them over here. So this unit here is going to go... Um... Yeah, I'm actually going to put them down here. On the dice tray, but we'll, they'll put them in the building. We'll put them in the building right there, okay? So they can see through there anyway. Yeah. All right. Nine inches away for all intensive purposes. There we go. I'm going to put them up there, but we know that they're kind of blocking in behind here, okay? In the dice tray area. Yeah. Just so they can put ten shots into there. All right then. Every, they, every wound matters. They've obviously fallen back. They're rodding. Hmm. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Happy with that. I'm happily rodding. Not going to spend my one CP on that vehicle thing, so the minus one hit we don't won't, won't worry about. Can we get about. some rods in the chat, please? Mm -hmm. Yes. Rod. Steve's com completed rod. Right. Shooting phase. This unit of 10 that I've just dropped down into this unit here. Oh, no. Any CPs? Um, or are you going to save them? I could spend ten, two CPs yeah. for... Um, plus, one, plus one strength. Plus one strength. And mortal wounds. And the mortal wounds. It, it, just to try and guarantee them off. Yeah. And unleash, because then you get some shots of this Torox then. Going to go for that, yeah. Yeah. I'll spend two CPs, yeah. Nice. Not the best roll, actually. Fours. Better. Three more wounds, though. Three more which is enough to kill them. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Cool. Like Guaranteed that. it. It was the right play. Like that. Any ever any doubt? Now, my Valkyrie is going to chip away at this unit on this objective, I think. Oh, no. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to go... it has got a four-man unit here, haven't you? Yeah, I do, indeed. So, I'm going to go into... The Valkyrie's going to go into that four-man unit. Oh. Um, so we've got the rocket launch, uh, the heavy bolt is first, we've got two of those, so six shots. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's pretty good. Threes, just two. Two, two actually. Uh, fours, they fail, uh, two damage each. Dead, dead. So two dead. Last cannon, hits, it fails to wound. Oh. Do I re roll it? Does the rockets not have another, another profile? Do I re roll that? I'm looking for a two, aren't I, basically? Yeah. It's worth it, I think, You'll just to pop another guy off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so cool. Uh, it's minus three, six. Yeah. No, how much damage? D6. Six. Oh, and then the rocket hits. Fails to wound oh, as well. No. Uh, the Torox is going to carry on shooting that yeah. lone ranger. Oh, oh, the well. glass keyword, one gets oh. one oh, hit. Okay. Uh, one hits. One wounds, minus one. Uh, minus two, actually. Oh, fail. I think it'll be because I got the Lambda Lions plus one. Yeah. Um, any, what's the damage? Uh, it's a D3. Two. He's dead. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's that unit wiped. Okay, cool. Oh, no. Another trick shot. Um, the auto wasted. Uh, the other Torox will shoot at. So what have you got here? Like a 10 man unit? I've got a 10 man unit of intercessors there. Yeah. I'll just go into that. Oh. Last the, keyword. They, they add a five up in vulnerable save. It won't matter. I'll just need to remember it for this one. Okay. Uh, so six hits. Yeah. Six shots even. Oh, no. Looking for threes. Three hits. Looking for t 
uh, strength seven, so one wound. Minus two. So five up. All good. Love it. And then the auto cannon, two hits, one wound. All good. All fine. Okay, charge phase. Ball grins are going to charge. Oh, actually, no. First of all, what we're going to do is this Torox yeah. is going to declare a charge onto this unit here of intercessors. Yeah. This captain here. Yeah. And then also that unit of intercessors. That unit right there. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, the middle I'm there. not going to attempt the captain. No, just want the two units of intercessors. Just the two units. And why is that? So if I basically park him like so. Yeah. Um, I can get within an inch of both. Yeah. I'm outside of three from heroic intervention from Ferros. Yeah. But that means this yeah. unit now can't overwatch. Yeah. It, I couldn't anyway. I didn't have any CP. Oh. But what it does do yeah. is it stops this unit shooting next game. Well, yeah. So. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> um, and then this guy is going to charge on to... The Dodo. The Dodo and also that unit of intercessor... No. Yeah, that unit of intercessors there because it will pin it there. Yeah. And then also the... Dorito, yeah. The Dorito. Three. Dorito Dreadnought. Yeah. Well, I think you should be in. No, because I just declared them as well. Oh, no. And I'm within five. Oh, well. So. Is this a reroll? CP reroll that, because oh. I'm definitely making that charge. I can't fail it. Yeah. Six. So he's going to go just like so. so. Outside of three inches as well. Characters yep. are in a bit of a, a muddle here. <laughs> yep. Like, well, and then. They're being boxed in. Uh, Ballgrin's going in. Oh, Nine. No. This is a. This is uh, not good, is it? It's all happening now, Steve. It's all happening. Can yeah. you pay back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's payback now. It's all payback. Pay back. It's all payback time. It's time. I've got a very quick uh, super chat to sneak in from Kylo. Uh, yeah. Five pounds. He said, for Eddie to do a David Dickinson impression to the camera. Now, the uh, the issue is that I can't actually remember what David Dickinson sounds like, so I'm just going to do this and be orange. Cheers, Kylo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready for this? David they get four attacks each because of the priest. One, two, three, four. Is he, are these the Bulgrins? Yeah. Oh, no. Five. <laughs> okay, okay. And then the five attacks from the, the sergeant oh, into your intercessors. And these are threes? In on threes. Okay. Wounding on threes. They've basically got auto cannons for fists. That was a bit better than the last time. That was much better than the last time. Yeah. I'll just roll this. Yeah, Minus mate. one. Yeah, it's when you needed a transhuman yeah. in the pocket. Four plus. Yep. And they're two damage each. And two damage each. So I'll have one, su one survive. So yep. First one dies, second one is alive. Yep. Then he's that. dead. Yep. So I've done three so far. So two's dead. Yep. Fourth roll will kill one. So fifth roll, sixth roll, seventh roll. So six. Oh no, oh no, he survived. So five die, one's on one wound. Five die, one's on one wound. So, and I will take all the ones out of... Which is because you're piling into me again. Yeah, so and basically I've piled in over the objective line yeah, so you so can't, can't basically steal it off me. Or you can't claim it off me, yeah. And then I will consolidate right into you. So you have to go through the unit if you want this objective. Yeah, use a okay. strat. Um, cool, I'll attack back. I got my Torox yet, oh, mate. Oh no! <laughs> this is where all the damage. One hits Ooh. on that same unit. That's took a wound. Wounds. Oh, right. you right. you having a take that? Yeah, wound I won't bother rolling the other one. You can attack me back. Right. So I'll do the three into the uh, Bulgrins. Yep. So ten attacks from them. That includes the sergeant. Yep. Roll ones to hit. Nice. And then fives to wound. Rerolling ones. Four. Four saves. And they minus. Two pluses. They love it. Oh. And then um, two into the two yep. into each tank. Yeah. So first tank over there. Yeah. Two, uh, two wounds. No minus. And then. And should we just say two on the other one as well? Yeah. Three on the other one. I'll give you the next one because you had a reroll. Cool. He loves it as well. All good. Right. Deradeo, four attacks oh, or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hit on threes. Five attacks when he's charged. Yep. Oh, yeah. Three just to, uh, strengths. Three, yeah. Four, three fours to win. Three saves. Minus one. No, minus nothing. All good. Okay. Uh, let one. me see. Three up save or a four plus save? If the, if the Derrida three, three plus. Three plus save. Oh, three I was going to say, if the Derrida just kicks and wounds off that. Would have been plus. Okay, so that is the end of me then. My turn even. That's not the end of me. <laughs> I hope not. Not, not yet. Hopefully. So you've got your third rod off now. 
Got my third rod. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. And what have we uh, done? Anything else at the end of the turn? You to get score? engaged. Got my engage. For, got for another three. Another three points for engage. And you get a mission for another three. Yep. Is that John? Nine. Yeah. Each of those. Got some catching up to do. I like it. I am only getting. So people enjoying the stream, yeah? Stuff. Stuff like that. All good. Come Everyone's good loving class. it. Yeah. Having we got a lot of chat interaction. It's great. People liking the Tempesta songs. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Like it. Who'd have thought that I can actually play a shooting guard army? It's that Paul Rudd video. Yeah. Who'd, who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought? Us here. <laughs> yeah. Not me. Um, right. All my morning research paying off. <laughs> yeah. Somebody thought an illegal list. No. No. Well, that that calmed down quite quickly. That did, didn't it? Um, no money grabbing for. They're just here no. for the entertainment. That's it. That's what we like to hear. We had some good coaching moments right there. I think we did. You need a morale check, my friend. I friends. do need a morale check. So leadership eight. Yep. On the sergeant, I will quick. I will double check it. Let me roll it. I'm all right anyway. You loved it on, on a, a one. one. Yeah. All shall know no fear and yeah. all that. Um, <laughs> right. Well, you're in a spot of bother now, mate. Actually, I'm in a massive spot of bother because, because you need to hold three objectives. Yeah, and I'm also definitely not. I'm only getting five points of the primary. Yeah. Now the issue I've got is mm -hmm. I don't think there's any way on God's green earth that I'm going to hold three objectives. What's the distance between one of your characters and this unit here? So the furthest character. Is the, is the sorry the closest character chief of Hofgary. Yeah, is he in it with anything? He's in fourteen inches, so he could do it. He could do it, yeah. He could do it. Yeah, he could do it. Um, I'm tempted to give it a go. Yeah. Uh, I will give it a go because he's well. He'll pick up a model first. Was that a five on the oh, primary no, for you there, Jake? It is just a five. He can't pick up a model. What about the lieutenant, the Phobos lieutenant? He's he's an inch behind me. Yeah, he's an inch behind, yeah, so he so needs a 15, right? He's got the most chance of getting over here. Yeah. And remember, if he can do that thing where you turn off obsec. Yeah, for yeah. a CP, right? Yeah. Then, um, obviously, that's big because you turn off my obsec as well. Yeah. What I'm needing, I'm thinking. Do you need a 10-inch charge? Yeah. 10-inch from that one. Yeah. Oh, no, so if I was 14 inches away, I move six. He, he... With the, so you're within 14? Oh, no, 10 inches, yeah. So T needs a 10, he needs an 11. Cool. Um, there a day can just stay in combat and shoot that. Yeah. Because he's not going to fall back and do anything else. Mm -hmm. um, they can fire pistols. Incessors. Right? Yeah, they could just fire pistols, or they could fall back. Um, I can swing Ferros over here. Yeah, blow just that to up. Deal that with that. Yeah. Captain can go with him as well. Yeah. Well, um, you may as well try a twelve-inch charge on this unit. Oh, it yeah. is so big. Might as well give it a go. Yeah. Um, intercessors will just stay there. To be a hundred percent honest with you. Mm -hmm. Now I've got an option of I could use the one CP for desperate breakout. Yes. And go through the Bulgrins. Yes. And end on that objective. That's what you want to do. And That's I a really nice move. Yeah. yeah. I like that. I like that. So I'll do that. Do I get the CP back? No. Right. I've never used it. Okay. I roll dice, and if I roll ones, they die, right? Yeah. You're um, okay. That's a really nice move, actually, Jake. Well, good th good thinking. That's so, a very nice move. And what it gets is over moments. That's good. It gets you 0 for 2, but you did fall back, yeah. so that's um, fine, though. I also double-checked if Ferris is plus one hit. It's done in the shooting phase. It's okay. Done the shooting phase. So he will be able to give the Derrida a plus one to hit. Yeah, so minus one, plus one. Yeah. Yeah, back on it. Cool. Normal ballistic skill, yeah. Um, so, speaking of that shooting phase... Mm -hmm. So there are so plus one a hit from Ferros into this unit this Torox here. Yep. So freeze to hit. Yep. And it's toughness six. Yeah. So freeze. Three at minus two. You're not re-rolling ones because of the lieutenant right there. He's not cool. Is he not? And none of the four world ones are so contempt. Uh minus minus two. Okay, so two go through? So four damage. Cool. So he's got the Torox Prime has got ten wounds, he's got six left. Does he have ten wounds? Yeah. Oh, nice one. All right. That was a lot more than I thought. Um, and then the top hat. Oh, no, I can't fire it. It's blast. Well, you can start with the other guns, start with the autocannons. That's what I did. Heavy bolters next. Oh, heavy. Oh, and then you can put the top cannon. guns into... So he's in combat. You can if you kill it. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so... Well, no, I need this objective. Yeah, so in which no, case, put it into this unit here. He yeah. doesn't need all on a side. Oh, um, I'll put it into the the, ball the, grin. the plane or oh, something. Oh, the plane, yeah, yeah. So, four hits. Yep. No wing. No, unfortunately okay. not. Um, then I'll do. Well, I won't bother with the pistols. Um, these. They always do the most damage, James. You should know this. Come on. <laughs> I know, but I'll, I'll I'll leave them, and then I'll do eighteen shots into that Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. While you're doing a lot of fun shooting, um, we've got a couple of super chats. We've got one from uh, Cam Wageman again. <coughs> Cam, what hero? Yeah. We love Cam. Cheers for that, mate. Uh, this is to see Eddie's glorious smile. A, uh, I agree. I think aging. Aging for doing great on the stream. Cheers, lad. Thank you very much for that, Cameron. Um, I will. Uh, 
give you what you requested. <laughs> Cheeky little smile. Just for you, Just baby. Just hit minus one, mate. Um, and then we've got another one from Jonas Anderson for 50 sec. Will you use any of the Book of Fire rules in your sisters list, Stephen? Sorry if it's been asked, got in late. Yes, I'm actually... We, we've had this. I'm actually using the Martyred Lady very soon. Coming very, very soon. The Martyred Lady is coming very soon because I've got Junith on the pulpit painted. You do have Junith. I've just finished painting her Gina Baser and then she'll be ready for the Martyred Lady. Uh, I can't wait to get we that list a, on the table. We had a nice conversation about Junith, didn't we? Yeah. Because <laughs> you wanted to try and get her. She's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> she's I really, really like cool. her. So there's like the Book of Fire isn't crazy, I don't think, for no. the sisters. It's very just a little bit of extra it's flavor. Nice. It's not like the Skatari go cohort, which is, you go for that. Because it is unbelievable in a book that's already unbelievable. Do you know what you need for a strong book? What's that? Something stronger. Something stronger, <laughs> yeah. But we don't need it for another army. A bit of extra spice for the same on top of your spice. Yeah. That's what we need. It's like you've got super spicy wings with then super spicy sauce let's on get, top let's of Let's get wings. that extra hot, mm. and then it's just dunk load of XXL on And then that. eat it jumping out of a plane for that <laughs> yeah. extra adrenaline. Yeah, that's what you need. And yeah. if you don't eat your wings like that, I'm sorry you're not doing it properly. No. <laughs> so, um, I'll put Pharos's heavy bolter into the Valkyrie as well, just for the sake of it. Three hits. No wings. No Pharos. wings. No. Pharos, um, you... Silly man. Silly man. Right. Charge phase. So, Chief Apothecary. Yep. So, I don't have the re-roll anymore because I used it to get my open moment. Basically. Yeah, which, which is smart. It's got more guaranteed. So, he needs a 10. Yep. And he's got it! He's done it! Oh my <laughs> god, Jake. Face. He's actually gone <laughs> he's and done it. He's actually done it. Oh, go on, son. Here we go. One with the VT shoulder pad. So, you, within, yeah. you were within 14, right? Yeah, so I moved six. Six. So, so what's the difference then? Oh, it's actually only eight. So, you need, so make sure you leave yourself oh, room. So, give him there. so that means the reaver only needs a nine. The only one seems a nine. Oh, it's a fail. Now the captain needs a ten. He needs a ten, and obviously I will get onto that unit. Oh, you're gonna have to do it alone. Yeah, they I think three. he could do it. Pharos going into the tank. Yeah, so Pharos going into the tank. Oh, look, he's in. Yeah. So there we go. Cool. So fighting first. Yeah. We've got to give it to the chef. Yeah. Go so on then. Five attacks can get four and charge. Yeah. Oh, it's two misses. It's not enough. Three wounds. Three it's minus one, however, because he's got his little. So two dead. It wasn't enough. What a spicy charge! That was a spicy. Just what you needed. I know. That but never it did, happens to but, me, Jake. But it didn't. But it didn't kill them. Oh it no. didn't do the thing right. And now I'm just checking Ferros. It was a shame it wasn't the lieutenant. Really, that you could have put the lieutenant in on that roll as well. Lieutenant. I could have as well. Yeah, you listen to Steve. He knows. I always listen to Steve. Steve's he wouldn't have got it in on that roll. Steve's my guiding light. <laughs> I've never seen such a roll. I've never seen such something. I've never more than a three on my charges. No. <laughs> I have to be on them. That's why I have to get. I have to intend it. Right, I'm within three, okay, yeah. so I can't fail this charge. Double one. <laughs> Double one. But I'm still in. But I'm still in. <laughs> yeah. Right. Veros gets five attacks base. Okay. Plus one for charging. Yeah. Five hits. Okay, I think he's dead this Torox. Strength seven. Yep. It's just a three. Oh, my days. Jake. Minus three damage and then he has a power fist which isn't enough you're not so you're not going to kill me well you, unless the dare is air in the in, in the um do you want to have a pity roll i think that was an absolute whiff have a roll are you sure your list is illegal steve maybe he should get it is illegal. Illegal. No illegal no one said how it's illegal <laughs> <laughs> apparently uh i think kylo asked about whether or not you had three three command squads and two primes or is something? it a super chat Right. Well, no, you I didn't super chat it. What, can I take two command squads <laughs> I'm not for a sure. prime? I'm not a, I'm not a guard player. We'll have to get that from the chat. We'll, we'll, we'll let you know, Steve. I'm All just right. quickly double-checking to make sure I'm not... Cheating. Well, if I can only... In that case, it would be illegal if I can only have one oh. command squad per... Let's have a little look in the book. See what have you've done, Kyle. Mm. It is minus three, two damage. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill you with it. I don't see why I can't. I literally can't see why I can't. Well, I think at this point it's too late anyway. It's so, right, uh, you know. it? Well, does it, it doesn't say on the data sheet that you can't. Huh? Did Robbie just sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I was like, he just went off. And then I was like, this massive sneeze. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, right. It's minus three, two damage. Okay. So, so what I'm telling you is six plus six. Pharos is not killing it. Okay, go through. So you're down to four. Okay. And then he's got a power fist. Yeah. And he misses it. Oh, dear. This is 
This is huge. This That's is potentially It's been a real whiffer of a game. That's a real whiffer of a game. <laughs> whiffer of a game. <laughs> whiffer of a roll from you there, mate. Pharos should have killed him, I think. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Um, you get to fight with those Scions, though. Oh, no, let's not worry about it. Um, sure. Stephen, just to get you on the tilt even more from the chat, uh, apparently it says on page 132, one command squad per prime. Who said that? Uh, that was Harry Lane and a couple of other people yep. sort of backing it up. Ban them all. Yeah, all right. Yeah, just Is it a super chat? Yeah, sorry, guys. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Straight down. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the stream. What page? 132? 132, apparently. What? What? Oh, it's in the main, like, regiment. The, time, the, the regiment EP. Well, why is that not on their data sheet? It would make so much more sense. That would make You're a lot of sense. You're always telling to double-check Battle Scribe, though, aren't you? Battle Scribe? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Sorry, uh, the official Warhammer app. That's what I've been using, so, genuinely as well. <laughs> basically, it's in one of these tiny little blue boxes right let's, here. Let's see it. It's normally like a fluff box, which... Can't read that. Yeah. That's not real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we'll let you off, Steve. You Steve, I'm letting you off, mate. We'll Thanks, I lose. Thanks. <laughs> if, I, if I lose, I'll Thanks. be like... Thanks, everybody. Right. Um, there we go. Still such a cheater. Because I did not check page 132 of in the, the little of, of in the, the little green box of the Astral Militarum. Uh, yeah, the, the VT Academy did a really good video on um, cheating and uh, so intentional. Steve, right there, <laughs> unintentional what was, was it? unintentionally non-adherent, non-adherent to yeah. the rules. Was not deliberately trying to cheat? No, admittedly, did it make a difference? It was probably the one who did the scramble anyway. He was yeah. unintentionally unintentional. Yeah, I would have probably killed one, two less intercessors. But I had 40 points elsewhere. Which you no, could probably, 80 points elsewhere. Which is well, which is we've broken the matrix here, haven't we? Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, two saves, no minus. Loves it. Fails one though. Yep. So down to three. Um, intercessors. Yeah. Um, I'm only going to get two again. Yeah. It's very lame. Um, so into the non-wounded tank. Yeah. Three rolling ones. Yes. One wound on the non-wounded tank. He's okay. Now the big one. Yep. Ooh. It's a dare no, this is the other two intercessors. Two at no minus. Uh, well, just take off one. Right, he's on two. Wings. Yeah. Very sad. Oh, what a day. Is that <laughs> it? That is it, sadly. I feel this like... This is the... where pistols sh I should have... <laughs> yeah, shoot your pistols. You would have. Yeah. Right, I'll put them all into that one Yeah, then. of course you would have. Let's see what happens. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's all right. Yep. I don't get pistols in Pistols tactics, always so. do the most damage out while you're shooting. You should know Four, this. Four, <laughs> no minus. Aren't they minus one? No. Well, he's on one wound. He's got a wound left. Oh. Well, I should have died there, to be honest. Oh, it's all right. I it's, should have it's, died. It's a dice game, my friend. Yeah. Right. All it would have given me, though, well, was you just get, an extra point. You get a fight first anyway, yeah. so it's all good. Yeah. Cool. Right then. Uh, so, at the end of your turn... Am I fighting? No, nah, I don't worry about it. Oh. Right. So, end of my game. Yep. I'm not going to get Stranglehold again, very unluckily, yeah. on that side. I am, however, going to get Oath for yep. two points. You are? Yep. Put me to nine. Oh, you didn't kill a vehicle, did you? That's that's what I'm saying, that's the extra point. Oh. And then I will we'll get three more on the mission. To be honest, I'm happy to say he's dead. I'm, I'm going to say he's dead. Are you sure? Do you want to see if he blows up? No, Ferris should have killed him easily. Okay. So you had an absolute whiffer. Let's right. just say he's dead. Well, that's cool. very kind of you, Steve. Yeah. It's just Can we dead. also say the charges were made? Or? Yeah, all, all three 12 inch charges were also made. <laughs> also made. You, with the amount of twos you rolled, you only needed one more to go through and it would have killed him. Well, so I'll I'm do, happy to say just that. for consolidation purposes. Yep. That's all um, good. Actually, he'll stay there because it puts him further out from there. Yep. He'll go there. Cool. So, just to double check, that's nine for O's. So, um, we've got ten on O's now because Steve is very kind and said the Torox yep. died. Thank you, Dex. Nine on the mission, yeah. But yeah. Only three on stranglehold because yet again I've been denied. You have. Uh, I need a morale check though. Oh, yeah. three. Right. I'm okay. Yeah. Oh, and the attack. The above. Okay, we'll look at you. Yeah. Okay. Look at me menacingly. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> right. So at the start of my turn, I'm scoring 15 points. I think this is where it's. The Steve 15 again. The big 15. Big 15. Let's write it on the big clipboard as well. I'm going to rod in the corner with those uh, servitors. They've been hungry They've done for it. it. <laughs> Here we go. They're finally You've, set up. So you're maxing rod. They're like, they're like Steve, are we rodding now? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah, whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Not yet. Hold it. What about that? No, no. We're going to wait for turn four. That's all my rodding. We could say in the in the narrative that you've stolen Feros, one of some of Feros's family. Yeah. Because he loves his servitors. So he this probably does. I don't really this know. unit is um, moving over here. This unit. We're going to shoot that apothecary. Oh, Steve. <laughs> I know. We're going to shoot Such the apothecary. Such a dastardly man. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to take up this apothecary. 
they're just going to move around like that. Cool. Um, then the ball grin are probably going to just charge back. It's round four now. It is battle round four, yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. It's, uh, it's gone by quite Torox quick. is going to stay in combat. This unit of what's on the chops are just going to move through six here. The Tempestus Scions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so people know what we're talking about. That is some of the feedback we've been given. I'm sorry, everybody, that I took an extra command squad. I'm sorry, Jake. Sorry, right, mate. Such a big cheat. <laughs> this is a good time to admit I've got 2,500 points on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Steve really wanted that revolver. <laughs> mm. Now I understand why. I'm going to zip, blow up. I'm, I'm going to stay in hover mode, so then I just get my engage again. Yeah, it makes sense. So many things make sense, don't they? They do, and that's why we love this game. Um, then... This Bulgrin unit, what are they going to do, you know? It's a question, do you go for the big 10 man? Because uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that three man unit is not living much longer with the CPs you've got in, in the pocket. Because I've got some CPs in the pocket, haven't I? You do. I'm actually tempted to divert where I was Ooh. and move. No, because we said they were back here, yeah. so yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, they're just going to move there. You're going to shoot off that apothecary yeah, 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 anyway, yeah. mate. We're shooting the apothecary off. Um, yeah, the, the Valkyrie's just chilling there. He's all good. Um, Bulgrin. Yeah, they can just kind of maybe go like this, spread out a bit, just to get me a three-inch charge, you know. You know how much I like them. You love a three-inch charge. The safest charge. The safest charge. And I'm also going to put one within three inches of that guy. Steve you know. hates anything that is not. Priesty is just going to move to there. Banner. <laughs> he loves three inches. He loves a three-inch charge. Yeah, that's how we like it here. Right, okay. Um, Death taxes and Steve making a three inch charge. So, let me get around here, boys. Oh, they they touch the cover. Uh, so, all the shots into this apothecary. You, you don't have to kill him. Just, I don't, I've, oh, actually, it's 20, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was 40 for some reason. Yes, I do. We've got another super chat from Kylo. Oh. Yeah. Five pounds. Uh, we all still love you, Steve. Thanks. Thanks, Kylo. At least Kylo thinks so. Thanks, Kylo. I love you, mate. Yeah. Um, the the scores, by the way, I've already given back. you your rod, um, just just to make it a bit easier, are 80 to Stephen with the Scions and a uh, a mere 42 to the Iron Hands. It's Iron the primary eight. that's just killed me. It's the primary what, that gets you. With all those intercessors, I thought you'd have, yeah, come it's on. It's the steadfast is uh, dying. Is oh, that's, a that's big, it, is a it? Big one. No, yeah, that's also, really changed it's also it. It's just all these, all these bodies, Steve. Here you go, mate. That, that many saves on your oh. pot That's from Oh, what? actually... Oh, actually. <laughs> oh, actually. He's, he's dead, dead, yeah. I mean, that was only one squad. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I was I was right in my presumption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were. Cool, right, yeah. this unit here. How many CPs have I got left, Eddie? Got like seven, mate. You are on seven, yeah? Yeah. Yes! And Jen, right. you're on I'm on zero. zero. I'm, I'm spent. Valkyrie is going to shoot this unit right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's a bit rude. <laughs> so, um... Heavy bolters. No, going to go with this unit while I'm all yeah. within nine. So I'm going to spend a CP for sixes to do mortal wounds. Spend another CP. Uh, strength strength four. four. All right. Two, four, so six. So CP down? Ten, Steve, 12, I'm not liking 14, it, 16, 18, 20. 20 shots. Is that two CP in total there? Steve? Two CPs in oh, total. Oh, you never rolled to see if, I, if, I got, if you got yours, if you stole mine. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? It's all good. And I re-roll ones because I've got my, my warlord nearby. Another one? Yeah. And another one. Oh, no. I'll just give you that one. Two's miss. Now we're looking for them sixes. So you need, you need three sixes. Well. Oh, nice one. Just one more wound. You're a statistical anom anomaly, Steve. I know. There's mathematicians around the world just like, what is So, like, I'm <laughs> ruining on fours. <laughs> Not only do I only get one six out of twenty out of nineteen dice. That's right, mate. You're immune to that. fail all of those. And the mm -hmm. other thing as well is there was one that's taken a wound, so this could kill me. So two die. One is left to bear the burden of his brothers. Right, okay. In that case the Valkyrie's gonna just try and shoot him. I'll take him off. <laughs> no, I'm oh right. no, you hit the fours, don't you? Yeah, exactly. So I've missed with the last cannon. Oh. Apparently the uh, Valkyrie is in hover mode. You get plus one to hit for oh. roving gunship. 
So you, you're actually here. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Failed a wound with the last I'm cannon. Sure I'm going to CP reroll it. Wounds. Six up save. Yep. D6 damage. Uh, but it does kill him, though, because he's on one wing. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Thank goodness for that. Right. Charge phase, then. Oh, no. Just the charge phase, actually. Just the charge phase. Um, the ball rings going in. <laughs> so there we go, chat. That's how you do it. That's how you fail a 3 That guy. That has literally just made this argument completely valid. That, guys, is why Vanguard Tactics, we teach you not to worry about dice rolls. And that's why the bad dice that I'm plagued with, being a statistical anomaly, has made me a better player. Because I have to do things like, I'm within three, Jake, do you understand? <laughs> so that I cannot <laughs> fail a charge. Are you How three? many inches away are you in total? I'm well within three. You're, you're fine Please. then, yeah. I'm within oh, three. And they said that building. <laughs> yeah. Well in. Yep. Comfortably. Yep. Hang on. Look at them with their ham hands. And I'm going to keep one guy on the objective. Uh, well, I'm going to keep a guard just within three priest. of my priests, so you can't shoot him off. This building is not having a good day. And then I'm going to get, get uh, three. two guys can fight. I'll say you'll be able to fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be able to get two within two inches like that. Yeah, there you go. Just like that. Just like that. Another fan As Tommy Cooper straight. would say. Uh, right, okay, then we get the then we get the champ, I'm we get some other dude, and we get another dude. I'm assuming you'll stay out of Pharos's. Yes, please. Well, that's my piling there, yeah, you see. Yeah, that's cool. And looking for threes then, Jakey. Oh. Not bad. Uh, four, six, minus one. Four plus, fail two. Okay. So first one, dead, second one, dead. Two dead, cool. I'll so take... um, the chat is just debating what your punishment for cheating should be, Stephen. Um, mm. We're currently the leading choice is to eat a miniature live on stream. <laughs> I mean, I'd go for something comes small. Up don't, with that. don't do it with Redemptor. Well, that I can't do it. These are CADS models. So or say, do don't do it with Forge Drive Resin. You will die. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I don't want that. Oh, I can't model. bear the burden, Steve. You've got Liam to blame for this. He's giving you the pain. Death by a thousand week. cuts. <laughs> Does that have to be a painted one? I mean, I mean the yeah. points were painted? <laughs> you, you obviously get points? 10 pound points if it's painted. <laughs> do, I, do I get 10 man points if <laughs> I get a painted <laughs> model? So. I'm not doing that. Two... Um, you can four, come up with something better. Six, eight, four. Yeah. One, two, three, there is a four, forfeit five, that I could six. think of that I would not want to do, but there's only one person that knows about it. Who is it? That's the Factorum. Oh. Mm. Can I know? You probably know. We spoke about it earlier. Buy floorboards? Oh, no. Yeah, I do know, don't worry. <laughs> it's not buying floorboards. I'm not saying it, because no. otherwise they'll make you do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, freeze. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll, chat. I'll try and find out what this is and uh, we'll bring it in next week. Secret Asian Eddie oh, over there. Won't matter next week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> won't matter next week. Won't matter next week. Let's see who can remember for the next game. When it does matter. You're trying to wound me back. I am. Um, you're, you're wounding the Torox here. No, the, the Bulgrins. They're oh. all on the Bulgrins. I think you should have gone on the Torox, you know. Yeah. Because the more... The more wounds you put on the Torox, the easier your seal of oath is next turn by killing a vehicle. That's true. I'll put them on the Bulgrins anyway, because I've piled, because I wouldn't have got that many attacks on the Torox. Okay. So, I didn't do anything. But <laughs> yep. I, as, it's more the fact that I wouldn't have got that many attacks. I would have only have got yeah. two of them to fight. Uh, I do take a wound because you're Assault Doctrine. I'm not. I'm in Tactical. Oh, no. It's turn four. Yeah, I'm in Assault. Nice one. Yep. Nice one, guys. All yep. right. In fact, I'm now, I can put it on this model because if I lose a model, then I've just got a five-man unit. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about it. So. Exactly, yeah. End of the go. End of the go, then. Liam says he won't forget, Steve. He won't forget. What's, what's Liam going to do about it? Force a mini down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what, Steve? Stream. I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> He's a strange individual. Uh, right, so we've got uh, engaged all fronts there, Liam. Um, yeah, yeah. There you go, Liam. We've got engaged on all fronts. If you want to lay that one down, <laughs> Liam, if you could just from home, <laughs> give us, do us a sort the spreadsheet out, please, Liam. <laughs> yeah, um, so we've oh, got yes, three points for engaged on all fronts. <laughs> we've got three points for priority target, and then I've got my rod, obviously complete now. Tempest of Scions, Captain Efficiency, mm. Stephen, with Ross. my cheating list. G E G. I know, right? So, start my game. Yeah, mate. Okay, fine. 
This is I, what's killed me. Yeah. So, right. I need to try and get a stranglehold. I need to try and get oath. You might be able to make this charge this time. I've got to do a lot, mate. I've got to do a lot. At least um, your Dodo can shoot something this turn. Yeah. You, you may have a go at the Valkyrie. Or equally have a go at the Taurus. I don't know what's more likely. See, what you should have done, by the way, yeah. is you should have pulled this model out of combat. Oh, and then I could have just... Yeah, so pull that model when you lost the model earlier. Okay, we'll pop them there. So now <laughs> I can shoot the Torox. Because now the Torox, can, you can free to shoot them. So what we want to do is I need to get a model into the centre for Oath. You do? So... That could be a character. Oh, yeah, that's what I was... And my Priest of it is available for a nice charge here. I was thinking. Ooh. Yeah. Pop him there. Because if remember, if you kill a character, you also get that same oaf moment, don't you? The oaf point. Yeah. Yep. Veros and that are going over here. Yep. So Derideo mm -hmm. is going to swing round. Yep. Veros is just going to go there slightly so he can give him plus, plus one, one to hit. Yeah. I'll keep the intercessor in combat so again I don't lose an oaf. Yep. And then this unit of intercessors will just swing just so they can definitely all see him. Mm hmm. Yep. Um, so shooting phase. Yep. I'm going to shoot this unit. I need to try and get. With what? With the captain. Okay. Uh, think about this though. Oh. Because if you kill these two off and you make oh, a charge. Oh, I could just charge them. But you don't also. actually, in fairness, if you charge me, yeah. you won't kill them all and I'll consolidate onto the objective anyway. Yeah. Um, you, how many CPs again. have you got? Well, I've got one CP, so I could actually yeah, swap one. them. Swap the lieutenant and the captain swap over. The lieutenant and the captain. Turn off obsec with the lieutenant. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Cool. There we go. Nice one. And then, uh, so I'll shoot these. Because the captain can still shoot, yeah. yeah. So I'll shoot these, and then I can charge them. Yep. And then turn off obsec there. Yep. Cool. So right. shoot this unit. So here. shooting them. So captain who's assault bolter. Yep. Two hits, two wounds, n minus nothing. Uh, one. one. Uh, Ferros will shoot him as well. Yep. Three hits. Yep. Uh, one wound. Is he just got a regular heavy bolt? It's not it's special. It's in an any assault way. heavy bolter basically. Oh, okay. So one. Well, it was a heavy bolt, uh, and like the new stats, but in yeah. old rules. And then a bolt carbine. Wow. Well. <laughs> then uh, the Derridea will have a go at the Torox. Yep. Remember to shoot your pistols this time, yeah? Yeah, I will. Mm. Uh, please, plus one's a hit, so... Uh, yep. That's five, and minus two. Uh, bring it that. Okay, so that's three, so he's two down. damage each. So, yep, so he's Four down. wounds left. Four. Heavy bolter. Quite like these little Torox primes, actually. Nipping about, making some charges. Mate, I'm a big fan of that, don't you? Yeah. Uh, two wounds, minus one. Uh, why? It's heavy bolter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Told you, Steve. I, I thought you'd been wound on threes, that was all. No, no, okay. he's strength five. Man. He, these wound on threes. Cool. Nothing else. And then the, his top hat. Uh, one. Minus so, one. What strength is that? Strength six. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wing. Damage? Uh, just the one. So is it? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's the only... I thought it was indirect. That's why I took it. <laughs> uh, so I'm down to three. It has an aircraft one, which is one shot. Has that got the blast keyword? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there's, a, there's an aircraft one, which is strength nine, minus four, D6 damage, but if first is a flyer, it's three plus D3. Yeah, you got quite unlucky there. Um, and then the intercessors. Well, yeah. they can't shoot the. They can't shoot that. No, anything. but they can just shoot the Bulgrin. They can. So eight of them. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. Yep. Charge phase then, mate. And then I won't bother. All right. And if they could uh, see the. Yeah, just wheel them round yeah. and shoot this. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You, yeah. There's a big hole there in the terrain anyway. Oh, you don't need okay. to move them. That's right. fine. Yeah, so they're all carbines going into my Torox, yeah? Yeah, so 18 shots. Yep. Come on then, Jakey, you can do it. Can That's you it. kill the Torox? You can do it. I'll Give me your best, mate. Come on. It's all about character. Five to wound then, mate. Five to wound. No minus. Oh, one, wow, one. Jake. No minus. Don't he's, worry, I failed. You fail it. I fail it anyway. Um, charging then, so yeah. Reaver guy, mm -hmm. he's the important one. Eight, nice, he's yeah. Definitely so he needs to get within six inches, remember, of this unit here to turn he's off their obsec. Done that. Cool, yeah. I'll do that at the start of the phase. So. Yep. You know, Ferros has to make this charge. He's in. Seven, yep. Just he's in within, yep. Yeah, just. Mm -hmm. Cool. A captain into the priest. Yep. Five, seven, eight, eight. Six, six, six. 
over to there, yeah. Just get me my for main. Uh, cool. So, hitting. Mm -hmm. So, I'll do Ferros first. Cool. <laughs> and then he'll consolidate that way, and then the yep. Reaver guy will consolidate that way. So, I don't take it off of you, but I'm contesting it. Yeah, but you do hold... But I will... Well, no, I won't hold that one. No, you, it do, you don't actually get Stranglehold, unfortunately. The only way I could have done it is... Well, no, I would, is you give up an oath and then just go round with that. Yeah. That's all right. I should have played deck. You should have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you you wouldn't have got done enough anyway. I wouldn't have done enough because you just take from behind. Yeah. So. Right. Uh, the, the captain. Cool. I was kidding. Uh, so I'll get an oath for that. <laughs> and then um, the intercessors. You'll get to fight before my intercessors. Oh, yes, I do. Um, yes, I do. You actually get to do that. Have you been listening to the uh, Fight First, Fight Last podcast there, Jake? I have. Um, I now have. Over on the Capacitor UK podcast. I, I, have I maxed Spotify. out my primary? You uh, will, you will be, yeah. 30, hang on. 40. No, you're on 40 at the minute. Yeah, but i got one more turn, right? Yeah, yeah you're, yes, you're you definitely going to max as you get five, five, So I can leave this objective, basically. Yeah. You can you can go full ham on them. Here's some dice. That's fine, I've got enough. Oh, cool. Yeah. Winning on threes. They struggle to get through people the old ball ring, don't they? It's just a minus one, isn't it? They need it? to be minus two, really, don't they, I think? Yeah. Two fail, so... Yep. Six up. Six up? Two, two dead. dead. That's yep. fine with me. Um, now, if you... What you can do, remember, yeah. is if you get rid of these guys... Oh. No, if you get rid of... These two. Uh, yes. I can pile in. Then you the can end thing. closer that way, yeah. yeah? And pile in closer to the... Close enemy model, yeah. yeah. And then you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, five. Oh, you won't get you won't, the last guy won't really get right. in, but five guys can now attack the tank. So I'll do five into so the into the orgrins. Yep. What no wings? Yep. And then oh, three and uh, no, only two attacks each now. Five. Have you got a CP left? Oh no, you spent no, on that I spent thing. Because you could use Gene Rort Might. Whatever it is. One minus one. Oh. It's not enough. It's just one wound left. It's not enough. You got very unlucky there, mate. That's all right. End of the go. Filthy there, brute. Yeah, man. That's all right. End of the go, however. Mm -hmm. I'm getting. Got your sealer, if you kill a character. I'm getting. Hear this. Four points on Ace at the moment. Didn't fall back, killed Didn't. a character, and you're in the middle of the table, yeah. And then I'm getting three more on the mission. Yep. So that put me 14 on Oath and 12 on the mission. Yeah. Sadly, Stranglehold leaves me yet again. Yeah, just because i got two models and you got two models, because you're, you're not holding more than... Hang on a minute, you're holding two. And I'm contesting that one. Because you need to hold half the number of objectives and more, don't you, on Stranglehold? Yeah, so for this is free. Because if it's hold more than me, yeah. then actually we're drawing. No, we're still drawing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. But you are going to max your primary. I get my primary maxed out. Which is out. good. Yeah. I said it's the primary that's... Done me in here, other than obviously other, um, upon other things. Mm -hmm. So, Jake, what did you score at the end of that round? So, I got four points on A for moments, taking me to 14 points on that. Yeah, you've done And well I've then. got three points on the mission, so you taking me to 12 points on that. Didn't get any stranglehold, so I'm sitting pretty on three. Yeah, stranglehold's a bit of a win more, isn't it? Yeah. I've got, I've, I've ha I had a bit of a tactical, tactical bad boo boo turn two, where I could have just shot the unit with some of the intercessors that. Instead of declaring all the incessor shots on the unit you know, free silence that was there, I could have just put some here, killed them off, at least got that. But the last two turns has been no way of me getting it really, unless obviously this all worked. And Steve, you've just gone up five points to max your primary. Oh, you're fifteen, but you've maxed your primary. Decent. Have I got some sort of orders like double tap or something? I'm pretty sure. Like, why don't we say you do? <laughs> We're cheating with the list. <laughs> Take aim, reroll. Well, I've already got reroll ones. Yeah. Ooh, all as guns and hot shot. I can turn it to rapid two. So you can get four. That's what I was thinking. Or I shots. can go reroll, wound roll. Yeah, that's definitely better, isn't it? What, 40 shots? Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for that. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for that. We'll go for that. Sorry, Steve, did you get five or ten on that last uh, primary? He'll only get five because it will max him yeah. out with that. Perfect. Now, a bit of a cheeky manoeuvre here, because I know you can heroically intervene. Yes. So. You're giving me. And currently you're turning off my obsec right here, yeah. aren't you? 
Uh, yeah, all within six of the reaver. So I'm basically going to put a unit one side. A unit the other. And a unit the other. So you can Heracleen to be in one way, but not the other. So you can go one way or, or another. <laughs> you going to find me? I'm going to get you. <laughs> and then he can go like there. Move six off that object. Well, he can advance. Five, go in 11 there. Get six within there, six within there, re-roll ones. I'll order them to take aim, order them to take... Oh, can you do the same order twice? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. You, can, yeah, you just can't I, do it on the same unit. Yeah, I'm sure I, you'll know instantly from the chat if you can't. And I've got a rod. Yeah. So yeah. rodding allows me to do two orders. <laughs> okay. Rod, there's so much... Rod has definitely been the, the MVP of this game. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to get my... I'll, stay, I'll st uh, stay in hover mode. Can, I, can you at least move the servitors out so I can do them? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I can see the pest. Can Faros move. can see his, his Well, they can his move mates. on the objective then. There we go. Okay. Cool. Forward. Cool, 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 cool. And Faros is going to look at them lovingly. Yes. Lovingly. Remembering. So over here, I'm going to put 40 shots into that captain. Two, four, six, eight, ten. You're going to spend the CPs. Um, I'm going to just go up to strength four. Not more wounds. No. Okay. Take so four lots of that, please. Rear on me ones. Because Reaver Ones is from the guy, isn't it? Yeah, from my Warlord trait. That was a good hit roll for me there. Fours. So, six saves so far on him. So, so six. And a mortal wound. Oh, no, you didn't do that. No. Say so four wounds. Stick and four. Say so three. So, he's down to two. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, these again, basically. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Right, I've rolled an extra it's dice. Right, Steve. So I've rolled, I've rolled basically... 22. 22. So you have yeah. 18 left. Yeah, if we just roll hits and wounds, then I roll saves. We roll ones. There we go. I think you're going to kill him on this lot. Yeah. One, two, three, four saves. Mm. Two fail, three fail. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> cool. And then over here, 40 shots. I'll spend a CP so that I do... Mortal wounds, okay. Uh, actually, this unit here is going to shoot into your lieutenant. Two, then four, then you can take six, eight, eight, ten. Because Ferris has seven wounds and a five up on a pain. Bit of a beast. He's a big lad. So the first unit is going into the lieutenant. He's rather okay. large. This is just 20 shots. This is mortal wounds. No, this is not mortal wounds. Oh, this, this is nothing. Not. Got nothing here. This is nothing here. This is just hot shot. Regular hot shots. Rowdy hot shot. Looking for fives on that lieutenant. Ooh. Oh, it's not quite as good as I wanted. Uh, only three saves on him. But he doesn't get an invun, right? No. So that's two fail, two more fail. So that will put him to three wounds. Three wounds left. Who doesn't get an invun? The Reaver lieutenant. Ah, oh, right. Sadly. If he, if oh, wait. He's, he's near Fieros. Uh, he, Fieros does. he does. Yeah. I only rolled one six anyway. So oh, okay. And it's the a rest five up. I know, but I, I rolled one, two, three, and a, a six. Yeah. So it doesn't matter for this one. You but Steve it rolled it. Right. right, so I'm going to put, I'm going to spend a CP so this unit does mortal wounds on sixes. I hear you putting them in too. Right, well what we're going to do here is we're going to, how many wounds <laughs> have you got left? Three. So I'm going to put ten into him. Yeah, and the rest into Farrell. Yeah. 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 You think you can do it? Seven wounds, five up, feel no pain, five up and one will save. You're feeling mighty. You're feeling confident. Going to one pump him. If you don't come, if you one, come two, at the king, three, don't miss me. four, five. Watch <laughs> this. On to Lieutenant. Three wounds to do, re-roll ones. Ready for this. Ready for these sixes, mate. There's two there. It's not enough. It's not oh, enough. It's not enough. Oh, he's on one wound. What a little geeber. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Right. Uh, so now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, so that's 30 shots there. No, oh, Interferos? Interferos, oh, yeah. Right. And you said 10, I thought you meant it. <laughs> shots. Whoopsies. <laughs> oh, no. Feros, mate. <laughs> you okay? He's just getting hammered here. Yeah. So I've got one wound on that blooming lieutenant, haven't I? Toughness 5. T5. Well, just fishing for sixes, really. He's a thick boy, though. I reckon he is. Uh, I think he's going to tank this. Oh, my God. Wow. <sighs> Wow, well, just the one mortal wound then, mate. <laughs> just um, the one six. Someone asking from the chat what the six is to wound on mortal wounds. Uh, the mortal wounds on six is uh, strat is called, Steve. 
It's Five. called uh, Gift Three. from Mechanics. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. It's not like capped at six, but the way I roll really doesn't matter. I be, yeah. I took all the saves. Okay. Two wins. Okay, cool. So he's on five left. Brilliant. So I achieve neither. <laughs> no. <laughs> score one, score two, achieve neither. Right. My Torox could shoot. Can't be bothered. Um, cool. Can't be shoot bothered. To shoot be sixes with to my hit, Valkyrie. So let's not worry about that. Um, I mean, the Valkyrie can put a las cannon into. I think it's on the Reaver. Yeah. I'll put all his shots on the Reaver. Yeah, Last cannon. I see it. Hits. Wounds. Wounds. Five up, feel no, oh, invulnerable. And he's made it. Oh, come on, Pharos. With the your missile. Awesome hits. Oh. Wounds. Oh, it's gone for Oh, no, boys. How much damage? One. Six plus, feel no pain. Here it comes. No, he doesn't. He, yeah, he's gone. Sad, sad, Very sad, sad. Cool, 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 cool. Charge phase. Both units going in. First unit in. Oh, but you're gonna second come unit to the king. in. <laughs> yeah. You coming to the king here, mate? Just doing that basically. Oh. Full wrap. You better not miss, mate. Full wrappage. We don't like that. What we're going for there? A full bacon wrap. There we go. Or iron wrap. Get that. Get that iron in you. Yep. Uh, you get to swing first over. Well, I mean, I mean you, you'll get to do all this. I mean, let's be honest. You've got two up save or something? Yeah, he's not going to do anything. Right. So, cool. I will do his attacks back, but not yet. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, it's all into, the, uh, all into that. See if it explodes? Tank. Yeah. Nope. Cool. Thanks, good. Just so then I get a, a, my last point on Aeth. Yep. I'm going to add that now, just so then I know it's done at the end. But yeah. I'll do it now. Ball grin. Three, six, nine, twelve. See, so, yeah, this has been a bit of a slog, hasn't it, trying it's to get through this unit of incestors here? It shows how tough they are. Yeah. But also that you should really have minus two. Well, you need to roll those four. dice. That was a good, good that was save for me there. Four up. Ooh, oh, wow. No. I think we spoke too soon. Oh, no. I'm just going to roll that. Uh, oh. Re roll any successes? I'll just. How many's left? Five. I rolled your successes and they've all failed. Cool. <laughs> oh yeah, these are some... Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, cool. no. Um, uh, Pharos will hit back. He'll hit into whichever unit I was shooting at before. Yep. So six attacks. Yep. Uh, two dead. Cool. Power fist hits. Has it killed another? Cool. Three dead. Cool. All right, nice. Morale on them. Fail it. Nice one. Uh, six guys left. Good work. Uh, five guys left now. Five guys left. Oh, dear. Uh, another one. Another one dead. Nice one. Don't cool. think he's going to Cheers, mate. No problem. Right. Just the one guy, actually. Just the one guy. There we go, look. So I get my engage, um, and I get my rod. I've already done it, and I've got my priority objective. Nice one, mate. Yep. Very nice. So that's going to put you on 15. Yep. Okay, so basically, Steve, yeah. pretty much makes this game. Yeah. What can Jake do? To what can Jake do? Absolutely nothing. I can get my mission for you free. Can, you can get your mission, yeah. And that is it. I'm going to score because obviously I score at the end of my turn. I'm not going to be able to clear this. Okay, I've got an idea for you, Jake. Unless I've got an idea for on, you. Steve, give it. Give so it. Show you, me move, it. you move eight inches this way, yeah, with oh, the Deradeo. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what are you thinking? Get rid of the hat right now. Get rid. We don't, you don't we need, need this hat anymore. Oh. Uh, Ferros can now actually move through there because the amount of models you've killed. Yeah. Uh, it's actually pointless. Yeah, Stay in yeah. combat. Um, then you can that unit of intercessors there. It could move out and shoot that. No, because you want to charge here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't. I think the intercessors just right where they are. To be honest. Yeah. So basically, the he shoots machine? the plane. Yeah. The intercessors shoot the plane. You probably kill the plane. I see. I can save the CP for. Yeah. But what? What? I'm not going to get that objective though. You need to. You don't need the objective. All you need to do is make the charge to get oath of moment I've in the middle. Maxed it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, in that case, yeah, I'll just shoot. Double yeah. seven. <laughs> oh, in that case, if you don't even need to kill the I plane. Don't need to do. Right. In that case, you come over here then. Yeah. yeah. Just give it a go. And I think I could kill this unit. What's the range on these guys? These are uh, on the incessors. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. So can I'll you get to there? No. I can run and shoot. Yeah, you do that. But obviously, you I want to hold that objective. 
Just for the three points. Roll your advance roll. I've got a CP as well. Two inches. Mm, yeah. You can't even get no. with it holding both, really, which is a shame. But you can put one model on that objective anyway, which is yeah. like there. Yeah, and then I could try and shoot some of them off. Because I think the Derrideo could pick up one unit. Something like that. Yeah. Yep. And then, they then you've got five guys that can... Uh, They're yep. in range of this sort of model unit. So we'll four, four guys can... Yeah. We'll retreat Pharos. Yep. Derrideo will put everything into this unit. Yep. Pretty much killing it. Do you want yep. me to roll it? Um, so you put your five guys into this yeah. unit here. Yeah, so you kill so them kill off. Them. Yep. Then the Derrideo shoots all those guys. Yep. Cool. Uh, and you basically will and then I'll get them. ten points because you'll go with the blast first, giving you a minimum yeah. blast minimum. keyword. Yep. Yeah. And then Happy with that. And then in whatever's less, you could charge anyway. Yeah. So yeah. I'll get ten points on the primary at the end of the game. Yeah, because you'll hold two objectives. I'll hold two. Yeah. And that is it. And then you get three points for your. And I'll get three points on the mission. So, so that will put me on foot. Twenty-five first thirty-three is eight. Five, I'm reading sixty-eight, but I might be wrong. No, I, I haven't added painted yet. So sixty-eight, and then you're on whatever the maximum. Is. I so dropped three. So ninety-seven. Ninety-seven, sixty-eight. Game Jake. You good. heard it here first, guys. Tempesta Sans for the win. It was good. Yeah, it was good. That the the amount of just the little units you had just to be able to stop me getting the objectives. Obviously, I did make a boo boo on turn. Two, yeah. Instead of I should have just put four incessors there, four incessors there. That would have been enough to do it. Yeah. And then, but obviously after that, mate, you played it really well. Thanks, mate. Getting all those objectives. I said the only thing it would have given me is three more points. Yeah. So it would have been seventy-one, but it still it doesn't change the ultimate outcome of the game. No. Um, no, I think it was a really good hard fight actually. Yeah. That um, the Tempest of Science list really performed better than I expected. It was very good. Very good on the primary. Um, the mobility from these Valkyries is excellent. Being able to jump out within five because it's a disembark, not a, a reinforcement yeah. ability. I think having multiple units and multiple squads is also nice. You've got yeah. lots of. I'd probably even be tempted to break down a couple of my units of ten into units of five Science maybe. Um, there was a debate of obviously. I was thinking about combat squad in one of the intercessor squads. Right, yeah. Just so I could have had five just sit at the back here instead of yeah. having to sacrifice ten. Yeah. But we, we learn. But that, that wouldn't have changed. It would, again, it amount. doesn't change the outcome at the end no. of the day. You played it extremely well. The ball grins were, you know, yeah, they may have not killed as much. Obviously, I know they killed a lot, but you, know, you didn't want them to kill as quick as you want, but they were there at constant threat. They basically so blocked this off at me. They killed. I think they killed 20 intercessors. Yeah. Which is good going. Yeah. So they killed 400 points of intercessors. Yeah. They might have even killed a little bit more than that because remember I made that first charge into that unit, maybe killed five. Oh, yeah. So I think they killed about, about 20, 25. Yeah. Yeah, so 25. just over half my intercessors. Yeah. It did big work. Yeah, they did they, work. They were they really good. Did. But the main thing they did though is they just they made me like getting to this middle was just so much harder. Yeah. Because obviously I managed to do that cheeky little desperate breakout through them. Yeah. Which I was happy with. I think if you'd have gone first and killed my vulture with your yeah. big thing, I think it would have been really difficult for me to then kill your repulsor. Yeah. Um, I'd have struggled without the without my thunder strike. I'm not gonna lie. I think yeah. If I went first, I I think I may have picked up the one vault, one vulture and one valkyrie. Do you not roll it out? See, yeah, yeah, because you'd have only right. probably had. We'd have given him plus one to hit. Well, he gets plus one to hit anyway when he fires all from all guns. Yeah. yeah? So where are you putting what guns then? I'll just so well no. I was gonna put the Derrideo into the, the valkyrie, and we'll put the, the, the uh, pulsar into the other one, and then I'll yes. spend the CP on the Derrideo to every sixty rolls to wound his double wound. Right, yeah, so the big macro cannon would be in... So this on the vulture, yeah. on the Thunderstrike, yeah? Yeah, so two hits. I would have got reroll ones for Devastated Doctrine. Yep. Because I'm iron hands. Yep. Strength, ten. Yep, so threes. So three wounds, minus five. Okay. So minimum... I think it's three plus D3. Let's have a little look, yeah. I'll roll it. Because you've had 30-inch range on the other guns as well, wouldn't you? Yeah, three plus D three. It's also strength twelve, so that other one would have. Uh, you had, no, oh, toughness, toughness seven. Toughness seven, you? yeah. So that's. So three plus D three. So, three. Five, so no, that's yeah, six. So six, four, four. Okay. So that's. Well, he's got one wound left. Yeah. And, and then, then the heavy bolters and the, all the other little guns pick it up. Him. Yeah. And then the Derrideo. Does it pick up a Valkyrie? With the strat. Yep. Yeah. We were ones. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 
Yep. Minus three. Minus three. Uh, you probably re-roll a one. Yeah. On the just on for a, Yep. No. No. Because <laughs> if you fish for a six, yeah. then great. Minus three. Uh, so that is eight damage. Eight damage. Yep. And then heavy six bolters. left. Heavy bolters. Rerolling ones. So four more. Minus two. Yeah, so five ups. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gone. gone yeah. And then all of a sudden, my troop choice is here. Yeah. Um, so whichever one, that would be like a 10-man unit, which are there now. Yeah. It's a lot less las cannons. And then, yeah, I struggle to kill your repulsor in my turn. And then the repulsor can just the repul potentially take off the ball grins. The, po the repulsor then is a and massive threat. And maybe not explode. Yeah, right yeah, in yeah in that's the, the key thing. Does. Well, the, the, expl the thing is, the banner, like... Like you said, it didn't make that much of a difference. Having double obsec didn't make a blind bit of difference this no. game, just because of how well you played with your movement. It may have came into effect when you had like four models there, because yeah. you'd have counted as eight. It would all it, it would have got me a stranglehold one guarantee. More turn. Yeah. yeah, but it, other than that, because uh, you managed to heal yourself, recover anyway. So yeah, if you'd have gone first, this game changes slightly. Yeah. But then I get the back end of the turn to I play a little bit cagier, maybe. Also, would I've scored more knife. Yeah. They would have scored as much on Aeth. I probably would have scored more on the primary, maybe, yeah. but not as much on Aeth for the moment. Mm. So that's that's where it swings. I still think, genuinely, yeah, killing those two were really good, but I still think it's a, you, you played it well enough that it you win anyway. Yeah, I think it comes a little bit closer, yeah. I think it, it turns more like potentially into an 80 point to 97, I think, for me. Yeah, you probably yeah. score about 80, yeah. I probably score about 90, 90 rather than a full max, yeah. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that stream. Uh, remember, if you want to join the academy, then the link is below. And again, we're all about helping people just get their confidence with the game. Whatever army list it is, we just want to help you. So if you've got this crazy idea, like, can you make Tempesters work? Then we're going to help you do that, because we go over all the phases of the game in so much detail. And then, the obviously, the Discord, the communities are fantastic to really build up that repertoire of knowledge to give you that confidence with your list and then obviously we give you that feedback every single week on your list yeah. with your secondary choices um so again thank you to absolutely everybody who super chatted tonight it's been overwhelming Massive. with the amount it's of super a, chats we've had yeah, yeah oh, i no. think it's been a record or maybe it's been really yeah. good it's we'll been, have to have a look it's honestly yeah, it really means a lot amazing. it just helps us you know put these streams on um in a massive thank you to robbie yeah. and daisy and eddie and jake and to you guys uh, we wouldn't be able to do this without you we all. wouldn't be here without you mate well that might be true too but anyway, well, no, it definitely is. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, make sure you put Jake's date in the calendar, which yeah, is the, so the 13th of August. It, I know for a lot of people it will be late in the UK, 11.30 p.m. into midnight. As I said, I have the esteemed honour to be able to be a part of this great cause yeah. as well. So, yeah, go check it out. Team Warhammer 100 hashtag on Instagram. If you follow that, you can see all the information you need to about it. Awesome. And then next week, what we'll do is we'll put the links in our description. Yeah. And if you want to hear mine and Eddie's podcast, the Competitive 40K podcast, where we cover rules, we've just recently covered the uh, Adeptus Sororitas Codex Got review. It right. Yeah, boy. Good job, mate. <laughs> they were no pitchforks and fire outside. <laughs> Ooh, close one though you nearly nearly, nearly messed it up um, so yeah if you can check out that on Spotify and iTunes make sure you subscribe to the podcast and also give us a nice little review ideally five stars and write a nice little comment that would be great if you do enjoy it and again go. it's all about giving you that confidence and clarity with the rules if you go Jake's your favourite on the podcast That'll you're be... getting a thumbs up from me <laughs> anyway thank you and good night and we'll see you next week at 7 o'clock take care